Hi friends, let me start the first topic in our Python language fundamentals. Okay, so first language fundamentals, next the uh, input and output statements, operators, flow control, like almost around 25 topics we are going to discuss, right? But please make sure you people should have clear clarity about one point, sir. So if you aware the first the basic classes very confidently if you are getting perfection in basic concepts then the remaining concepts will become very very easy for you that's why first four or five units something like language fundamentals operators flow control these kind of things better to have clear clarity automatically remaining things will become very very easy for you people right okay so now the first topic language fundamentals right this is the topic what i have to discuss Yes, as a part of language fundamentals, okay, we have to talk about introduction. Introduction, are what is Python? Why the name Python? Oh, why the name Python? Like, uh, sir, general syntax related things. I will, I will explain. Next, uh, application areas of Python. Sir, where we can use uh, this Python? Okay. Next, uh, features of uh, Python. Either Python is the open source or not? Platform independent or not? Portable or not? Like uh, features of Python. Next, uh, limitations of uh, Python. Limitations, uh, sir, where we can't use Python? Okay. Like uh, next, the uh, flavors of uh, Python. Okay. Multiple flavors are available for the python sir as it is the open source like uh, jaitan anaconda python iron python like uh, multiple flavors are there i will explain next uh, sir what are various versions python 2x 2.x python 3.x like uh, we have to discuss about these version related issues right next uh, identifiers concept we have to discuss reserved words concept we have to talk and uh, then data types concept we have to discuss right sir under data types concept almost around 14 data types we are going to discuss of course all these things are fundamental data types i will explain but all these things as a separate topics we are going to discuss in the next sessions also but here basic idea about the data types what we are going to use in python so we are going to discuss right next type casting how to convert from one type to another type is it possible like so this is the agenda related to our language fundamentals concepts are almost around the so around around 10 hours uh, we are going to discuss only about these uh, things uh, that's why I take a bit very very special care to understand each and every point sir uh. if you are very strong in the basics then the remaining things will become so easily you can able to understand the remaining things will become very very easy that's why please please make sure you should have clear clarity you require to spend much time on this basics right okay Sir, let me talk about language fundamentals introduction part. Sir, first question I will ask. Can you please tell what is a Python? Please respond. What is Python? <laughs> Python. We are going to discuss Python. Python. Almost around two months, three months time we are going to spend on this. On this. What is Python? Please spell out. Can I use the word? Can I use the word? It is, uh, uh, what is Python? Don't tell, sir, this is one type of snake. <laughs> Regarding, don't tell it is one type of snake. Sir, in our technical terminology, it is a programming language. Observe that, it is a programming language. Language, right. We can develop applications by using this language it's a programming language okay like small small applications web applications like we can develop applications by using this python sir best example you are using calculator application i'm sure if you know python you can develop that calculator by using our python language what we are using sir okay gmail application you are using gmail gmail.com that gmail application we can develop by using python remember so what is python sir python is a programming language okay well sir now i can use the word python is high level programming language are getting python is high level programming language then immediately you ask what is high level high level means uh, programmer friendly language 
we are not required to worry about uh, low level things are you getting right it is a programmer friendly language not a mission friendly language remember this one sir it's not mission friendly programmer friendly programmer by simply seeing the code he can understand he can write the code very very easily right it is a programmer friendly language but not a mission friendly language remember low level activities so being a programmer we are not required to worry sir what it means here observe that if i can take a is equal to 10 i'm taking 10 b is equal to 20 i'm taking a is equal to 10 b is equal to 20 c is equal to 30 <coughs> 30 if a greater than b else 40 i'm taking 30 if a greater than b else 40 i'm taking print a c sir <laughs> are you getting print of c sir here do you know if i can take this code are you in the position to understand this code okay you are not required to have any programming knowledge remember this one you are not required to have any programming knowledge just observe a is equal to 10 oh the value of a is the 10 b is equal to 20 the value of b is the 20 c is equal to 30 if a greater than b 30 if a greater than b else 40 sir so a what is the value of a 10 10 greater than 20 no no 10 is greater than 20 fails so if if it satisfied 30 otherwise it is 40 then obviously what is the value of c sir the value of c we are going to get what 40 sir if you have the kid can you please show these four lines of the code to your kid? Are, can you tell what, what thing is happening? What thing is happening? Any person without having any programming knowledge, I'm sure, sir, that person can able to understand. Okay? This type of thing is called high-level programming language. Remember that. What is the high-level programming language? So, just a programmer friendly. He can able to, he can understand very easily. He can write very easily, right? Okay, well. Sir, next uh, low level activities are there memory management next uh, destroying objects next uh, security these uh, things will take care by my language itself being programmer we are not required to worry such a type of languages are by default considered as yes, high level programming languages c language c plus plus java next uh, python c sharp all these are high level programming languages right then immediately you may have the doubt sir you are writing just four lines of the code is really python code is it going to work is it going to work yes believe me it is really python code sir it is going to print uh, 40 other uh, answer if you want to uh, observe a bit very carefully sir same lines of the code i want i want to show so that you people can feel more comfortable right sir what is the what is the code a is equal to 10 what i'm trying to take b is equal to 20 c is equal to 30 30 if a greater than b else sir 40 i'm taking else i'm taking 40 print of c that's all don't worry sir all these lines of the code we will explain in the next sessions very clearly just better to get the basic idea sir okay well now let me let me run this code sir i have to save this code yes i have to save this code yes test.py okay means that so it is the python file remember that i saved this code as test.py i saved sir now let me run this code sir okay let me go to that location let me go to that location i saved this file inside d colon durga classes okay py py test dot py okay we have to use a py or otherwise otherwise python test dot py hey python can you please execute my test dot py python can you please execute my test dot py like this right a is equal to 10 b is equal to 20 c is equal to 30 like uh, sir this is if i execute this code what is the answer by default you are going to get sir simple 40 itself is the answer we are going to get take a bit very special care so means that don't get shocked it 
it is perfectly valid code only okay this a type of code is called high level high level programming language code programmer can understand very easily programmer can write very easily low level things like memory management security these kind of things my python is going to take care so this a type of language is called high level programming language are you in the position to understand right okay one thing next uh, one more observe that carefully sir it is a general purpose it is the general purpose it is the general purpose high level programming language so what is the meaning of programming language which can be used to develop programs next a high level means a programmer friendly programmer friendly general purpose means do you know python is not a specific to particular area happily you can use for any type of applications right desktop applications web applications next a data science applications machine learning applications like everywhere happily you can use it is a general purpose high level programming language itself is nothing but python everyone can aware yes friends so only three words i covered what is the first word what is the first word general purpose for any type of application happily we can use python high level means programmer friendly low level activities we are not required to worry like memory management security like next programming language which can be used to develop programs this is nothing but python sir okay well sir now who developed python who developed 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 python sir very very simple do you know there is who is the father of python okay who provides food for most of the programmers across worldwide like me and like you now everyone talking about python means uh, the person who created this python who is the father of python sir that person is uh, here just observe can you please read this one can you please read guido guido van van rosam are you getting Guido Van Rossum this person developed python so in which year first i want to show his face once because our career our life is going to be settled with this python language compulsor we have to see and we have to get the salute man because that person provided food for us okay have a look once i saved one image 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 this this person image have a look once man okay the person who introduced python who who is the creator of the python yes sir, this person sir guido van rossum observe that a bit a bit carefully sir great great person who developed world world the top most easy simplified programming language this person only he is called guido van rossum okay well sir when this person developed python programming language sir here there is one small point is there sir until last year okay i learned only java c c++ java we never heard about python especially in india we never heard about python okay like but suddenly python okay now the people are start learning obviously python is a new programming language java is the old programming language some people are going to feel like this remember this one sir so java came in 1995 remember this one sir java came in which year 1995 sir 1995 and officially released in 1996 sir remember next uh, python when this python came sir 1989 only remember this one 1989 only so here means that it is the old language even than java also remember java came in 1995 1996 sir but python came in 1989 it is the old old language right then immediately you may have the doubt sir why suddenly it became popular yes i will explain the reason also just observe so who developed python language guido van rossum developed python language in which year sir 1989 clear right okay sir while working in national research institute while working national research institute in netherland 
in netherland so this person guido van rossum worked in netherland national research institute while working there he developed a python programming language sir in which year this was happened sir 1989 remember that so even it is developed in 1990, 1989 but it's not released to the public immediately in 1991 in 1991 sir python made available to the public happily you can use this programming language you can develop the programs right so officially python released into the market in 1991 the official date of birth for python is february okay february 20th 1991 the great day which where when the python was introduced to the public where introduced to the market february 20th 1991 official date of birth for the python friends is it clear for all of you right who introduced the python in which year this python got developed next officially if when it released to the market so it is developed by guido van rosam in 1989 while working in national research institute netherland but officially this python made available to the public in 1991 february 20th 1991 is the official date of birth for the python up to this any doubt clear right now immediately you may have the doubt sir python came in 1989 but suddenly why in the 2019 very popular sir why it became popular everyone talked about this uh, why it became trending language right sir very simple example i will i will discuss the market requirements keep on changing time to time market trends keep on changing time to time sir now current market current market situation is everyone talks about everyone talks about simple language easy to understand sir simple i want a simple language which is easy to understand are getting easy to understand i want this type of language next second one i have to write very less code are getting i have to write which code sir very less code to fulfill my requirement this very less code is also known as concise code very less code is also known as concise code i want concise code okay like next third one sir very important next third i want uh, these days everyone talks about everyone talks about sir here artificial intelligence artificial intelligence next and after that machine learning machine learning next uh, deep learning neural networks okay neural networks that is the data science uh, data analysis like uh, everyone talks about this so for current uh, trending market requirements even sir you know iot also these days the most common user iot also right so for these uh, trending requirements best suitable programming language is the python sir so now for these requirement current current market requirement so what the best suitable programming language is the python that's why these days uh, python became popular and more popular everyone can give a so you have some diamond is there but when when there is a value for that diamond yes if a market requirement is good for that then automatically this diamond value is growing sir bitcoin was there earlier bitcoin no one no one bought bitcoin but these days bitcoin bitcoin cryptocurrency like uh, everyone talks about that automatically bitcoin price got rise like anything of course now government's banned uh, slowly its value is rising down okay so means that current market trending requirements which language is going to be best suitable python itself is the best suitable that's why python language became more popular everyone can able to understand right so two points i covered what is python general purpose high level programming language next uh, who introduced python guido van rosam introduced python in 1989 while working national research institute in netherland but officially sir python made it available to the public in 1991 official date of birth for python february 20th 1991 sir why suddenly 
python became popular even it is the old programming language but current market trending requirements best suitable compatible language is the python that's why it is it became more popular when compared with other languages up to this any doubt about this in the last video we covered clearly what is python what is python who introduced python what is the official data birth for python now i will explain sir if you want to learn python what are various prerequisites are there sir i don't know anything about programming can i learn python or not sir I'm, i i know testing i know manual testing so can i learn python or not Sir, I am coming from network background, no programming knowledge. Can I learn Python or not? Sir, this type of questions uh, in my offline sessions, online sessions are very, very common, sir. So, just uh, aware only one point. If you want to learn Python, what thing is required? What the uh, prerequisite, what existing knowledge is? Simple nothing. Remember this one. You are not required to know anything. If you know something, then it may be the problem. <laughs> Remember that. You are not required to know anything to learn Python. Just uh, are you in the position to read English statements or not? Okay? If you can read English, uh, that thing is more enough to learn Python. Okay? That's all. So that's why even school kid also can learn Python can write programs by using python that's why don't worry sir if you want to learn python if you have the kids if you have the kids better to bring those kids also if you are getting some doubt your kid can clarify that doubt okay that much easy programming language is the python sir orally you can tell any number of words but can you please show some example really is that much easy or not yes man okay if you learn any programming language if you learn any programming language what is the first application hello world application correct or not what is the first application we have to discuss hello world application sir in c language how many lines of the code we have to write to print hello world to the console if it is the java if it is the python just i will show sir example one to print the hello world to the console Sir, if you go for C language, C language code, okay, here do you know, main, of course, C language code if you want, here, ASH include, ASH include, STDIO dot H, sir, I don't know about this, not required, we are just, I am showing, just to see the basic difference, sir, like, now, I am taking, main now i'm taking main main method main function like uh, here just my requirement is print f of hello world print f of hello world like this we have to take that's all this is the code related to c programming language and the, we have to compile this code and we have to run this code then hello world will be printed to the console assume that sir sir hardly one two three four five five lines of the code i wrote okay excellent now if i consider java java code what we have to write in java to print hello world sir very simple public public class public class test public class test in java everything we have to write inside a class because it is object oriented programming public class test and then public static public static void main method public static void main method string array ox public static void main string array ox and then system dot out dot print ln system dot out dot print ln here we have to take hello hello world hello world like this i am taking sir hello world and then i have to compile this code i have to run this code so to compile most of the people already aware java c test dot java the code is going to compile once the code compile 
now java test are you getting once the code compile java test of this is the this is now you can say hello world hello world to the console right so if this is the java code what i have to write to print hello world just let me show sir now instead of writing orally let me show that output also matter of one minute have a look once I have to write Java code. Okay, don't worry. Even you don't know Java. I want to teach Java. Don't you are not required to worry, sir. So public class test I'm taking. Next and after that public. Okay, static void main method. Public static void main and then string array accept. Okay, like now system dot out dot print ln of hello world. Of hello world like this I'm taking sir hello world like sir now let me save this code yes test dot java like this I took sir test dot java now let me go to the console okay java c test dot java we have to compile we have to compile yes the code compiles fine java test okay like happily hello world will be printed to the console okay how many lines of the code we require to write to do this almost around the seven lines of the code seven or eight lines of the code we have to write okay well sir now if it is the python if it is the python how many lines of the code we have to write how many how many lines of the code we require to write okay if it is the python sir can you please guess if it's the C language, almost four or five lines. If it's the Java language, almost around seven lines of the code we wrote. Can you please confirm? If it's the Python, how many lines of the code is required? Only one line. <laughs> Only one line. What is that line? Is print of print of hello world. Are you getting print of hello world? That's all. Okay. Semicolon is also optional print a ah, hello world like this right only one line itself is enough we are not required to compile just run that's all okay how you can run sir python python test dot py assume that i saved this line inside test.py python test.py or shortly some in some systems we can take py py test.py also will work sir okay either this command or this command instead of python you can take just a py happily it's going to run okay let me write let me show this one sir okay here have a look once sir i have test.py is there in that print of hello world like this i'm taking sir hello world hello world like no semicolon next instead of double quotes you can take single quotes also acceptable okay happily do you know just uh, i want to compile python test.py yes hello world or py test.py hello world is the answer we are going to get have you observed right now just to print hello world if it is the c language how much code we have to write if it is the java how much code if it is the python how much code we have to write only one line so if you show this code to your kid okay you are a school school student some third standard fourth standard kid is there sir can you please explain about this code like uh, you can ask your kid uh, dad what you are doing are you getting dad what you are doing i didn't get anything are what is public what is class what is test what is public static why it main string array like uh, he, he may not so if any kid uh, coming to learn the program program programming language if i show in the first class this is the hello world program like do you know what will happen here that kid will run like anything i don't want this programming learn i don't want this programming like but if you show this line are this is the simple it is the easy way of programming definitely that kid can be yes easily can able to understand like so when compared with any other language either c language or java language c plus plus r or c sharp dot net okay the easiest programming language is the python language man okay how many lines of the code we have to write please confirm how many lines of the code i wrote only one line that is what the concise code are you getting that's what concise code not only hello world program in every area in every area python is always showing yes some some kind of mechanism some benefit when compared with other languages right easiness easiness concise code library support makes python as more popular these days remember are you in the position to understand right simple hello world program let me go for one more example what i want to take is 
अरे टू प्रिंट सम ऑफ टू नंबर्स दैट्स अबाउट माय रिक्वायरमेंट अरे कहते हैं आई हैव टू नंबर्स आर देयर टू प्रिंट सम ऑफ टू नंबर्स आई रिक्वायर टू प्रिंट ओके हैव ए लुक वंस सर आई विल गो फॉर दैट सर आई वांट टू प्रिंट द सम ऑफ टू नंबर्स दिस इज माय नेक्स्ट प्रोग्राम इफ इट इज द सी हाउ वी कैन राइट द कोड जावा व्हाट इज द कोड python what is the code so that is really python is the beautiful programming language or not you can able to observe sir observe observe carefully in c language what's my requirement sir the sum of two int values i want to print okay well sir here i'm taking hash include okay std io dot h std io dot h next uh, main method main method like some people may have the doubt sir you didn't keep return type return type default return type is int sir if you are not writing return zero automatically is going to take care we are not required to worry main sir in that i'm declaring int a comma p how many how many variables i declare two variable both variables are what type int type int values right now a is equal to 10 b is equal to 20 what is that sir can you please tell a is equal to 10 b is equal to 20 like now print f print f the sum the sum is a percentage d comma the sum percentage d comma a plus b i have to take sir a plus b like i have to take and of the main method getting right this is the code we have to write if you want to print the, the sum of two numbers a and b first we have to declare variables and then assign some values and then try to print sir simple program only if it is the java for the same requirement how we can write the code requirement is the same how you can write the code sir very simple if it is the java based have a look once sir class test of course public class test class test public public static public static void main method public static void main string array arc string array arc i have to declare two variables a and b int a comma b i have to declare two variables a and b int a comma b next a is equal to 10 b is equal to 20 okay just i declare a is equal to 10 b is equal to 20 now system dot out dot println system dot out dot println okay the sum the sum is plus because println is always going to take only one argument okay the sum is a plus a b like this i'm taking end of this end of this one do you know how many lines of the code we wrote multiple lines of the code sir so we have to declare and we have to initialize and then we, we are going to take the print sum let me execute this code matter of 1 minute right observe carefully i hope already the skeleton is there with me sir public class here i'm just declaring two variables a and b a is equal to 10 b is equal to 20 next uh, here the sum Are you getting here the sum? The sum is the sum is plus a plus b. I am taking sir. That's all. This is about my requirement. Let me compile this code. I hope this is the Java code sir to print the sum of two numbers. Sir. This is the Java code. Let me compile this code. Yes, friends. Java C test dot Java. And then Java test the what the answer we are going to get the sum thirty thirty is the answer we are getting sir okay well this is the Java code what we have to write to print the sum of two numbers how much code we have to write compulsory the person should aware what is class what is main method and then what is the system dot out dot print and like all these things must be required but if it is our Python our hero is coming sir if it is the Python okay Python Can you please spell out how many lines of the code I have to write? Let's turn very carefully, sir. Here, have you observed? What is the first line we wrote? Int a comma b, and then a is equal to n, b is equal to twenty. Declare. Here in Python, I am taking a is equal to ten, b is equal to twenty, a is equal to n, b is equal to twenty. 
प्रिंट आ प्रिंट आ द सम प्रिंट आ द सम ए प्लस बी आम टेकिंग दट सज इक्वल टेन बी इक्वल टू वी प्रिंट आफ द सम ए प्लस बी लाइक दिस आम टेकिंग दट साल वी आर नाट रिक्वर्ड टू रईट ओ बी को जस्ट ओनली टू आर थ्री लाइन आफ द कोड इज मोर एन अफ लैट मे एक्सिक्यूट दिस वन हेव ए लुक वन हियर सी दिस सी दिस वन हियर आम टेकिंग ए इज ईक्वल टू टेन B is equal to twenty. Print a, print a the sum. Print a the sum a plus b. Are you getting print of the sum a plus b? Let me run this code, sir. Let me run this code. P y test dot P y. Are you getting P y test dot P y? Can I get the same output or not? Yes, sir. This is the same same output, right? Okay, lai. So how many lines of the code we require to write? Only. Two, two or three lines, right? Sir, even I can combine these two lines uh, into a single line also. <laughs> Are you getting? Even we can combine these two lines into a single line also. What is that, sir? A, A, comma B is equal to. Observe carefully. A comma B is equal to. 10 comma 20. No other language is going to accept this type of syntax like C or C plus plus or Java. A comma B is equal to 10 comma 20. So this 10 will become value of A. 20 will become value of B. Okay, like let me do this here. Observe carefully. Instead of A B, A comma B is equal to 10 comma 20. 10 comma 20. That's all. The sum a plus b. Have you looked once? The sum 30. You people may feel sorry showing old output only again. <laughs> Let me change something. 100 comma 200. A value 100. B value 200. The sum a plus b means uh, 300 is the answer we are going to get, sir. Are you are you seeing right? So this is the biggest advantage of Python programming, sir. How beautiful it is with. Very less code we can do n number of activities. That's what what you people should aware. What is the what is the Python? So to learn Python, what prerequisite is there? Is nothing, sir. You should be in the position to read English statements. That's all. It's not like a program. It is something like a reading English statements. Okay, like English statements, but not programming code. Okay, well. Sir, by seeing this code, immediately some people may have the bigger doubt. Observe carefully, sir. In C language, do you know you declare two variables A and B of what type? Respond, man. What type? Int type. We declare two variables of what type? Int type. Here also, we declare two variables of what type? Int type. Int type. In Java also we declare. But here. I didn't declare a and b. A and b are what type? We didn't declare. So, sir, in Python, is it not required to declare the type? Type concept is not applicable. Like you may ask. Very, very simple. Type concept applicable in Python, sir. In float, the, these types are there in Python. But, but we are not required to declare. Type explicitly, such a type of headache is not there. So means uh, whenever we are assigning some value based on your provided value, automatically type will be considered. Remember this one, sir. Automatically type will be considered based on your runtime provided value. Such a type of programming language is called. Dynamically typed programming language. Remember that, sir. So in Python, we are not required to declare the type explicitly. Based on your provided value, automatically type by default will be considered. This type of programming language is called what? Dynamically typed programming language. Dynamically, dynamically typed programming language. Can you please give an example? Which are dynamically typed programming languages? Best example, sir. Python, Python, JavaScript, Python, JavaScript, etc. Multiple languages, right? So type declaration headache. Such type of things are not there. Okay, in Python, but in Java, compulsory. Each and every variable should be declared with a type. Without a type, you can't use any single variable. Also, such type of programming languages are statically typed programming languages. 
Are you getting that? What is this one? Statically typed programming languages. Best examples are C language, C++, Java. These are things are statically typed programming languages. So one more important point, sir. Okay. Type addx also not there in Python. Any doubt? So are you going to learn easy programming language or difficult programming language? Sir, any prerequisite is required to learn Python? Nothing, sir. If you don't know anything, well and good. If you know something, then it may be the problem. Are you getting? Sir, I don't, I'm not having any programming knowledge. Can I learn Python? Yes, you are the best person to learn Python, man. Sir, I know Java. Can I learn Python? Yes, you can learn. But every time you are going to compare Python with Java, then obviously you may get confusion. That's why. So don't don't worry at all. So to learn Python, nothing, no prerequisite is required. Easily you can learn. That's why. So do you know? So for the beginner, you have the first programming language. If you want to learn, better to go for what? Yes, friends. You have the best, you have the first programming language for the beginner. If you want to learn, better to go for Python. That's why in our colleges, first C language, next C++, Java like, but that style got changed. Now, first Python, after that any other language. Okay? So, easy programming language is the Python. In schools, in India, there are some schools are there, CBSA, Central Syllabus, 8th standard or 9th standard Python programming language is there. In schools, remember, not in, at least intermediate, plus 2 also. In the school itself, for the subject is there that much easy programming language you people are going to learn so be ready to give left and right to the python clear sir just now i told dynamically typed based on runtime value automatically type will be considered correct right sir can you please show some idea we didn't get much clarity about this one can you please show some idea like you may ask very very simple sir do you know in in java if you consider int just i am taking a is equal to 10 observe very carefully sir in java if i can take a is equal to 10 immediately error error hey, what is the type of a where you declare the type okay like immediately error we are going to get type compulsory we have to declare regarding otherwise error sir but in python a is equal to 10 so Python virtual machine never going to object what is the type of A because so which value you provided 10 10 10 so based on 10 automatically type will be considered sir where is the proof how you can tell that it is it is a 10 it is the int type how you can tell it is the int type very simple sir print print type of A can you please print a type of A type of A now it is going to tell the int type sir remember this one it is going to tell int type let me show this one have a look once sir very very carefully observe that here here let me take a is equal to 10 print of print of type of a print of type of a now observe carefully sir what is the answer class int type it is what type int type in type sir Suppose, instead of 10, if I can take 10.5, if I can take 10, 10.5, 10.5 means uh, float type, float type, it is called float type. Next, uh, sir, instead of 10.5, I am taking true, true like this, right? What is the type, sir? Bool type, boolean, boolean, true, false means bool type, like uh, type will be considered automatically based on our provided value. Clear for all of you, right? Next, one more advantage I will tell, sir. What is that advantage? Yes, in Java, if I can take int a is equal to 10, observe carefully, int a is equal to 10. Now, a is what type? Respond, a is what type? Int type. What is the value? 10. Sir, now, after some lines, a is equal to 10.5 I am taking, sir. In Java, a is equal to 10.5 I am taking. Java compiler will kill left and right. Hey, it is int type. How you can assign double value? It is the int type. How you can assign double value? Like a compile time error. So throughout its lifetime, this A is always what types are? Int type only. Okay. But in Python, do you know what is the type of A? Int sir. In the next line, A is equal to 10.5 I can take. Next line only, A is equal to 10.5. 
now on words a is float type variable if you want uh, you can print uh, type of a type of a now you are going to get float types okay next after that immediately i'm taking a is equal to durga a is equal to durga it is a string type are you getting now on words a is acts as durga so throughout life a is always in type throughout life a is always flow type no such type of terminology whenever you are assigning different type of value automatically type will be changed as per requirement are you getting that's why same variable we can use with the multiple types possible right okay let me show this this one so a is equal to 10 i'm taking sir a is equal to 10 print a type of a now it is int type okay well now after that suddenly i am taking a is equal to 10.5 10.5 print of type of a sir same a only sir once this line assign now onwards it will become float type now onwards it will become float type have you observed right now onwards a will become float type now a is equal to durga i am taking sir print type of a print type of a now onwards it will become string type are you getting str type str means what string type like this of course all these types i will explain in detail don't worry sir so this is a more easiness more flexibility to the programmer not required to declare the type explicitly next based on our requirement you can use the same variable with the different types also that possibility is there this nature is called dynamically typed programming language which is the more flexible to the programmer clear right now i will explain sir why guido van rossum selected the word python okay can you please anyone can you please guess why he selected the name python for his programming language okay he may select a guido language van language or rossum language like why he selected python hmm. can you please spell out sir very very simple very very simple sir if you are fan of sunny leone then automatically for your bike you will keep the name as sunny are you getting something like if you are the fan of okay just if if you are very much impressed you got impressed uh, like anything so maybe you are fan of some hero in our hero so you are trying to use uh, same names uh, in your passwords in your user ids it's a very common common right the same way this guido also very fan very much impressed with the one fun show comedy show okay in telugu we have jabardasti extra jabardasti like a uh, full comedy shows are there in india Ka coffee with karan like uh, there are some programs are there sir comedy comedy shows uh, fun shows in the tv tv like so there was one one fun show is there okay sir the name is the complete uh, the complete uh, monty the complete monty pythons pythons circus the complete monty pythons circus circus okay like so do you know this is the comedy show which was uh, broadcasted in bbc okay 1969 to 1974 okay guido very much very much impressed our rosam very much impressed with this show so it's a fun fun okay like a fun show from this he selected the word python to our programming language remember this one sir so sir why the word python sir because of snake or because of anaconda like no such type of reasons right why the word python got selected okay our our who developer our father father of uh, python this person very much impressed with with this show fun show the complete monty python's circus okay which was broadcasted in the bbc in 1969 to 1974 from this the name python came in the picture sir not only this one sir for any name there is some story is there sir if you consider java 
Java. Sir, just uh, only two minutes. I won't take much time. Java. Why the name Java came in the picture? Do you know James Gosley, who is the father of Java, sir? Why, why the name Java came in the picture? He is very, very simple, sir. Do you know? They used the word. Uh, they developed some language, programming language. They required some name. So what? Uh, in the building, just uh, beside their window, there are oak trees are there, sir. Oak, oak trees are there beside the window. Then automatically, these developers thought that, James Gosling team thought that, hey, we can keep oak, oak name for our programming language. Like, uh, they, they decided oak as the name and went to the registration. But whenever they approach a registration, work this word already registered with some electronics company. Sorry, we can't give this name. Then automatically they have to choose other name. Then usually, so they will go, they will very much fancy. The James Cosley, who is the father of Java, they are very much fancy about one coffee flavor, tea, coffee, coffee flavor. That coffee flavor name is Java. <laughs> Are you getting that coffee flavor name is Java, Java. That's why they choose the Java name for that programming language. Are you getting just uh, based on the coffee flavor name they use, uh, that's why the name Java came in the picture. Next, uh, do you know, somewhere you may heard about Hadoop. Hadoop, sir. For the Hadoop, what is the logo for Hadoop? Ayo, Hadoop, big data man. Big data, what is the logo for Hadoop? Ah, logo, logo for Hadoop is, uh, do you know, something like a uh, yellow elephant uh, with cap. Correct or not? Yellow elephant with cap. If you want to observe that, okay, some people may not aware. So, do you know Java logo? Java. Here, if you, if you observe, Java logo. Java logo. Observe that. So, do you know, this is, this is the Java logo. Okay? The logo, this is the, this is the Java logo. Why? Because James Cosley and team, they are always prefer Java flavor tea, Java flavor coffee. That's why they use this word Java. That's why logo. If you, if you consider, if you, if you consider why coffee cup logo in Java, <laughs> the reason you know, right? Hadoop, uh, what is the, what is the Hadoop logo? If you consider Hadoop logo, are you seeing, right? Yellow, yellow, yellow elephant. Are you, are you seeing yellow? Yellow elephant, elephant, you can see, sir, yellow elephant. Sir, who is the father of Hadoop? Who is the father, father of Hadoop, sir? Just the cutting some name, sir. Yes, cutting, dog, dog, cutting, cutting is the name. Sir, you know, why this uh, yellow, yellow color elephant came? Anyone, can you please tell the reason? Very simple. The reason for that is, sir, Hadoop means big data. Big data means elephant is the big animal. That's why the name. That's why the name. Huh? Hadoop, uh, big, big elephant. Uh, that's why they selected elephant as the logo. No, no. So, they are discussing. They are discussing about logo. Which logo we have to keep and so on. So, this cutting and is a team. Just uh, they are analyzing which logo we have to keep like. So, whenever these people are thinking about that, suddenly, this uh, sir, uh, cutting uh, is a son. He is playing with uh, a small yellow color elephant. Okay, he is playing with a small yellow color elephant toy. Toy. Okay, small toy, yellow color elephant toy. He is playing, sir. Okay, then immediately, why don't you keep this name? Why don't you keep this one as the logo for our Hadoop? Then automatically this person selected. Remember that. By mistake, if his kid uh, is playing with a uh, red color snake, uh, maybe red color snake, maybe logo, sir. Okay? Please make sure. So, there are some reasons are there internally why the names are coming. So, for Python, from where the name is coming, sir? The complete Monty, the complete Monty Python circus. From here, the name came. Just if you want, uh, here just uh, have a look once, sir. What is the what is the show name? Can you please spell out? What is the show name? The complete, the complete, uh, uh, the complete uh, Monty Monty Python's Flying Circus. Okay, the complete Monty Python's Flying Circus. If you observe that, these are various logos, right? Remember this one. These are various, various. Uh, so do you know these? Uh, these are various images related to that. Observe that carefully. These are various images. It's a, it's a simple fun show. Are you getting? This is the simple, simple fun show. Fun show, sir. You can you can see it is a simple fun show. Maybe, uh, sir. In this, are you seeing Python, friends? Are you seeing Python? 
Python, like Pythons, like so. From here, the name Python came in the picture. That's all. This is the reason, right? Okay. Well, any doubt? Now I will explain very important special feature of the Python. What is that? Is observe carefully. If you consider C language, if you consider C C programming language, can you please tell C is functional programming language? What is this one, sir? Can you please spell out? C is functional programming language. Functional programming language is the C, sir. If you consider C++ and Java, C++ and Java, these are object-oriented programming languages. C++ and Java. If you go for Perl, okay, Perl and uh, Shell script. If you go for Perl and uh, Shell script, these languages are scripting languages. Are you getting scripting? Scripting languages, right? These are scripting languages. If you go for, if you go for modular, okay, like these are these are scripting languages, right? C missing the benefits of object oriented because it is a functional programming language. Next, uh, so if I can ask C, oh, C, can you pro please provide support for inheritance, polymorphism, encapsulation? Like C person is going to tell what all these things. I don't know nonsense. I don't know like. Uh, so because this person is not object oriented, it is missing the benefits of object oriented programming. If I can ask C plus plus and Java, C plus plus person. Okay, Java person. Immediately, yes, I am object oriented programming language. So I can provide benefits of reusability, inheritance, code inheritance, next up, polymorphism, encapsulation, like all the things I can talk like. Are, can you please talk about functional programming like? If I can ask these people, sorry man, I can't. Sorry man, I can't. But slowly, Java, slowly lambda expressions, these functional, now these days these people talk, but actually they are not object uh, functional programming languages. Next, uh, scripting languages. These people, just a group of lines, one by one, one by one, we have to execute. That's all like this, right? So, every language having its own specific behavior, so that, uh, that specific paradigm benefits only they are going to get. Sir, what about Python? Is it functional programming? Or is it object oriented programming? Or is it a scripting language like you may have the doubt, okay? Sir, very simple, while developing, while developing Python, while developing Python, okay? How the Python language, while developing Python, Gudo borrowed functional programming features. Functional programming features. Okay? Functional programming features uh, from C language. From C language. He borrowed functional programming features from C language. That's why. So, Python is a functional programming language. Okay, well. Sir, next, uh, he borrowed uh, object-oriented programming language features. Object-oriented programming language, programming language features uh, from, uh, can you please tell, while developing Python, whoops features, whoop, whoop, uh, object-oriented features are borrowed from which programming language? Respond, man. Uh, object-oriented programming features are borrowed from which language? Okay, don't tell Java. Because at the time of developing Python, Java was not there. Remember, so borrowed from C++. Okay, that's why Python is object-oriented programming language. Next, uh, he borrowed uh, scripting language features. Scripting, scripting language, scripting language features uh, from, from Perl, from Perl, under shell script from Perl under shell script that's why uh, Python is a scripting language remember sir next uh, he borrowed modular programming modular programming features uh, sir you are not required to worry about this one it's almost we are not using any version modular programming features features from modular programming features from okay modular 3 Modular 3, okay, these days almost outdated, no one is using, don't worry, sir. So, he borrowed modular programming features, right? Sir, now, can you please tell, 
ఈత పైతాన్ ఈత ఫంక్షనల్ ప్రోగ్రామింగ్ ఫంక్షనల్ ప్రోగ్రామింగ్ లాంగ్వేజ్ ఆర్ ఆబ్జెక్ట్ ఓరియంటెడ్ ప్రోగ్రామింగ్ లాంగ్వేజ్ ఆర్ స్క్రిప్టింగ్ లాంగ్వేజ్ ఆర్ మాడ్యులర్ ప్రోగ్రామింగ్ లాంగ్వేజ్ వాట్ ద ఆన్సర్ యూ హ్యావ్ టు టెల్ సార్ పైతాన్ ఈజ్ ఆల్ రౌండర్ అరే గెటింగ్ బెస్ట్ అవార్డ్ పైతాన్ ఈజ్ వాట్ ప్లీజ్ రీడ్ పైతాన్ ఈజ్ వాట్ ఆల్ రౌండర్ పైతాన్ ఈజ్ ఎవ్రీథింగ్ సార్ ఇట్ ఈస్ అ ఫంక్షనల్ ప్రోగ్రామింగ్ లాంగ్వేజ్ ఆబ్జెక్ట్ ఓరియంటెడ్ ప్రోగ్రామింగ్ లాంగ్వేజ్ నెక్స్ట్ స్క్రిప్టింగ్ లాంగ్వేజ్ పైతాన్ యాక్సెస్ మోడ్యులర్ ప్రోగ్రామింగ్ లాంగ్వేజ్ ఆల్సో ఓకే పైతాన్ ఈజ్ ఆల్ రౌండర్ Python can enjoy benefits of all these programming paradigms. Okay, like, sir, now, theoretically, okay. Can you please show, at least two or three minutes, sir, basic idea sake, what it means, right? Sir, anyway, this one is completely outdated. Don't worry, remaining three things. Sir, what is scripting language? What is the, what is the scripting? Scripting language, right? Scripting language means, a group of lines will be there. A group of lines will be there. this group of lines will be executed one by one one by one no functions concept no classes concept just see a group of lines one by one one by one is going to execute is nothing but scripting language right now have a look once sir i'm i'm taking i'm taking here just a print print python python as a scripting language python as a scripting scripting language like this right i took this one i took this one so do you know just uh, a group of statements i'm taking sir almost six statements i'm taking like if i execute this first statement second statement third statement like all these statements will execute one by one one by one no functions concept no class concept no object concept happily it is going to run sir have you have you observed right now this is have a look once sir py tested dot py yes python has scripting language scripting language like happily it's going to run sir okay well now my next requirement is sir i want to use python yes yes sir like uh, functional programming very simple define a function define define a function and uh, write whatever the code you want and uh, call that function based on your requirement this is the c language approach c language approach right how you can do in python okay very simple observe carefully sir here i'm taking d e f f1 i'm writing a function sir print of python as a functional programming language functional python as a functional programming functional programming language like this i'm taking sir okay let me write uh, a function here i write a function of course this function contain four lines of the code now you can call this function based on your requirement any number of times okay sir i want to call this function f1 f1 now let me execute this code sir observe this is called uh, declaring a function and uh, this is called uh, calling a function okay now i want to call this function observe carefully sir yes python yes functional programming language yes functional programming language like this it's going to work sir okay well sir now i want to use python yes object oriented programming language like c++ or java so you can write a class within the class you can define a method create an object and then you can call the methods related to that class okay object oriented programming how you can observe carefully here i'm taking i'm taking a class test i'm taking a class test d e f m 1 of self d f m 1 of self print of print of python yes object oriented programming language object oriented programming language like this i'm taking sir object oriented programming language like this sir like like i have now create an object t is equal to test sir t dot m1 can you please create an object t dot m1 like so that's all so i'm defining a class i'm defining a class within the class i'm writing a method next i'm creating an object for that class and then i'm calling t dot m1 means that method right okay like sir immediately you may have several doubts sir what is self sir what is the depth sir what is the class like all these things i will explain in detail don't ask these doubts now just for basic idea purpose i'm explaining all these things we will discuss in detail next the sessions don't worry sir just get some idea that's it okay now let me execute this code 
let me execute this code python yes object oriented python is object oriented programming language right so now in the intro your room may be a chance to ask the question are what is python is it functional programming language or object oriented programming or modular or scripting language like simple answer you have to tell python is respond man python is all rounder are you getting python is all rounder python x yes so every every programming language paradigm python is a functional programming language python is object oriented programming language python is scripting language python is modular programming language remember this one sir next uh, most of the syntax used in python are borrowed from most of the syntax used in python borrowed from c language and a b c language okay c language and a b c language so 1989 terminology this language but these days people already forgot c and a b c languages from these languages most of the syntax borrowed in python clear for all of right so what is uh, python next of which is syntax what about programming paradigms clear sir where we can use a python okay i told already python is the general purpose programming language in every application area happily you can use python sir sir now we can use python to develop desktop applications are you getting to develop desktop desktop applications right then immediately you ask sir what is the desktop application the applications which are running in a single system stand alone application which are running in a single system are called what desktop applications right best example calculator is there if you observe that calculator calculator is there sir so this calculator sir to work to, this calculator program can run on a single system or not yes 10 plus a 20 10 plus a 20 itself is 30 we are getting so here to execute to run calculator how many systems are required only one such a type of applications happily we can develop uh, by using python sir do you know develop calculator by using python is a small mini project a small application right okay well sir next uh, we can develop web applications right okay we can develop web web applications best example sir we can develop web applications like gmail gmail application blog application online e-commerce applications like uh, so like amazon flipkart next and after that like blog applications we can gmail application facebook like uh, so we can happily develop uh, web applications by using python there are multiple specially designed frameworks are there to develop web applications like django flask pyramid okay like multiple multiple frameworks are available right okay next uh, even network applications also python networking it's a very hot area sir network applications also we can develop network applications also we can develop by using python sir okay like uh, charting applications charting applications client server applications like we can do that next uh, do you know sir we can develop games also there are several modules are available games games development happily we can use python programming language next uh, for data analysis applications uh, data analysis applications right next uh, machine learning applications machine learning applications deep learning applications uh, neural networks uh, artificial intelligence iot applications like everywhere happily we can use python programming language so that's why it is a general purpose programming language clear for all of you right so where we can use python so desktop applications we can develop web applications we can develop network applications games development data analysis okay data science iot artificial intelligence like you know all these areas happily you can learn okay this you happily you can use python sir do you know in amir pet somewhere in in our regular courses data science course is there data science uh, 
through python data science through r language are you getting by r language by python like python is the best choice for data science applications also that's why you should aware once you learn python yes everywhere next level yes happily n number of opportunities by default will be there for you you can enter into multiple domains okay like next uh, which software companies are using python okay which which companies are using python sir sir python used by google sir google using python next uh, yahoo using python okay yahoo facebook using python facebook facebook using python next uh, nasa nasa using python sir nasa nasa itself next uh, do you know nasa itself is using next uh, dropbox dropbox using using python netflix okay like uh, multiple companies are using python okay so if you want just uh, have a look once uh, sir i'm just uh, searching in the google i want to just uh, search search in the google saying uh, top companies using python okay top top companies using python okay like like just uh, i'm clicking this one sir just searching for this now observe that now observe okay yeah eight uh, world class software companies using the python eight uh, world class software companies that use python have you observed just uh, have a look once industrial light and magic google facebook instagram spotify quora netflix uh, dropbox uh, like a uh, dropbox like like they are using sir if you observe images like uh, just i'm clicking images right sir in the in the images you can you can see here have a look once sir have a have a look once here if you if you are seeing this one just uh, do you know youtube the popular youtube video sharing system is largely written in python next uh, google makes extensive use of python in its web search system web search algorithms are there there python python is going to play the role next uh, dropbox storage service uh, quotes both its uh, server and the client software primarily in python okay dropbox uh, client and server both are developed by using python okay here raspberry pi the raspberry pi single board computer promote python as its educational language remember next uh, sir bittorrent bittorrent peer to peer okay file sharing system began its life as a python program began its life as a python program remember nasa uses python for specific programming task nasa next and after that the nsa uses python for cryptography and intelligence analysis okay just uh, do you know security national security agency right sir next uh, netflix and elf like uh, so every every company itself is using using python sir next uh, if you go for another another thing sir do you know sir can you please uh, have a have a look once about these uh, these things right almost do you know almost around uh, 20 to 30 companies are covered in this uh, slide top companies using python okay amazon amazon uber ibm ibm like uh, so almost all the companies red hat uh, yahoo mozilla okay send grid uh, like uh, udemy like uh, there are multiple multiple companies are using python sir please make make sure you people should aware that's why so uh, believe python definitely python is going to provide food for you man <laughs> okay definitely python is going to provide good good career for you people right okay that's all hi friends in the last videos we covered very clearly the basic introduction to python what are various application areas when compared with the other languages what is the advantage of python like we covered right sir now the next thing what i have to discuss what are various specific features are there for the python okay python features we have to discuss about python python features right sir you know java person is going to come he is going to dance in front of you okay are can you please spell out what is the speciality of your python when compared with java c programmer is coming so he is going to dance in front of us when compared with c what speciality you have like we should be in a position to give left and right to java person
to see person so what extra features are there what specialities are there for the python compulsory you people should have clear clarity sir sir now some important features just i list out we are going to perform post mortem about these features right okay have a look once sir what is the first one simple and easy to learn simple and easy to learn first one next the freeware and the open source it is the freeware and the open source next the high level programming language it is the high level high level programming language platform independent platform independent next the portable portability next the dynamically typed yes sir, this is a bit very important sir even you have some basic idea about this one dynamically typed next the both the procedure oriented and object oriented sir it is also a big specialty for our python both it is all rounder both procedure oriented and object oriented right next it is interpreted next extensible embedded extensive library are getting extensive library it is also a big specialty for the python are getting so these are 11 features whatever i listed so that we have to perform discussion we have to perform post mortem about these things right are you able to understand right what is the first one simple and easy to learn second one freeware it is open source high level programming language next a platform independent and then portability dynamically typed both procedure oriented and object oriented interpreted extensible embedded and extensive library these are various important features of python sir okay now let me talk about the first one sir now the first feature related to python it is a simple and easy to learn simple and easy to learn programming language is a python sir very simple if you want to learn any language whether it is a general speaking language or programming language first we have to aware words which words are there in that language like suppose if you consider english language english general speaking language right how many words are there in english i'm not talking about alphabet symbols alphabet symbols 26 but how many words are there okay do you know crores crores of words are available sir crores crores of words are there words are there in english so do you know if you if you consider a dictionary almost this size dictionary also will be there oxford dictionary this size dictionary also will be there so each page in that dictionary contain thousands of words so if you want to learn english very perfectly compulsory you have to aware all these words remember that but uh, if you consider java programming language okay i want to learn java programming language how many words how many words are there just a few 53 words you have to aware sir remember that so when compared with english learning english language java language is very simple but if you consider python programming language python language just we have to aware only 33 words 33 reserved words the person who can understand these are 33 reserved words then automatically the expert in the python are you getting so it is a very small chota programming language is the python very easy to learn easy to learn simple programming language right next if you consider sir java code code also not only reserved words right code code also if you consider java code if you consider python code there's a big difference is there python code is a something like a reading english statements remember this one sir python code is a something like a reading reading english statements best example sir if you if you observe ternary operator is there in java sir have a look once suppose x is equal to x is equal to here i'm taking 10 greater than 20 10 greater than 20 colon question mark 30 like this i have now observe very carefully sir so 10 greater than 20 question mark 30 colon 40 if i if i ask any person are can you please uh, observe this line what this line is doing if i can ask uh, out of 100 99% of the people are going to fail yes they don't know about the meaning of this syntax unless and until if they know java okay the people who know java 
they can they can tell oh this is bob they're not the operator this is the condition if it is the true 30 is the value if it is the false then 40 is the value like do you know if i show this code compulsory java expert only can able to understand this line correct right okay like but um, if i the same thing in python how i can write the same thing in python how i can write observe carefully sir x is equal to x is equal to 30 sir 30 a 10 greater than 20 30 if 10 greater than 20 else else 40 are you getting 30 sir if 10 greater than 20 else 40 like this right now if i can ask this one 200 non programmers are what it is doing everyone can tell even school kid also can tell are if 10 greater than 20 then 30 sir otherwise 40 is the answer so you never going to feel that it is you are reading you are reading so programming instruction it is something like a english language remember that sir sir not only condition operator almost every syntax every syntax in python itself is a very simple resembles english language right suppose i'm taking sir i have a a is equal to 10 is there b is equal to 10 is there i want to check a and b both are equal or not okay a is a b or not <laughs> are you getting a is b or not like you have to ask a is b a is b both are pointing the same object something like a is b or not like we have to ask same way sir employee is not none employee is not none how i can ask if if emp is not none <laughs> if emp is not none sir don't feel sir this is the english statement no man it is perfectly python code so seems to be reading python code means you are going to feel that reading english statements sir. that much easiness is there in the python sir python contain how many how many words right only 33 reserved words if you ever these are 33 reserved words then automatically python will become so you will become python expert right okay well next uh, another biggest speciality for the python is concise code okay what is that can you can you spell out sir what is that code concise concise code what is the meaning of concise code is less code less code so we can do big big activities also with the very few lines of the code sir okay with the very few lines of the code we can do because of that the biggest advantage what we are going to get is uh, do you know we can reduce development time we can reduce cost of the application remember this one sir so obviously development time is going to be reduced uh, cost of the project development will become down so which is very cr very critical to the client sir very essential to the client so another speciality for the python is uh, concise concise code so development time is going to be reduced cost of the project development will be reduced sir okay like uh, length of the code will be less uh, obviously readability by default is going to be improved sir so this is the easiness will be there in the python you can learn very easily it is a very simple programming language so just a small example i want to take assume that assume that i have one file is available sir assume in my system i have one file is available sir abc.txt Observe, here text file is there, sir. Now, this text file contain some data is there. Assume some data is there. Are, write a Python program, write a Python program to read the data from this text file and print to console. Are you getting? And print to console. This is my requirement. Are you getting right? Write a program to read the data from this text file and the print to to console this is about my requirement right have you observed how much code we have to write if you go for c language oh big code if you go for java language buffer reader file reader line by line reading and then printing to the console a big activity we have to do but in python but in python how many lines of the code is required sir <laughs> how many lines of the code is required one line one line is more enough remember this one how many lines of the code is required one line is more enough that one line i'm ready to write sir which file data you have to read uh, abc.txt very simple open open abc.txt open abc.txt sir i open abc.txt read data now dot read 
data read read now you are getting the data print this data print this data then automatically print that's it you are getting open abc.txt and read the data and print that read data to the console that's all single line which is going to read the total data from
నేమ్ మోడ్ విత్ ఏబిసి డాట్ అట్ ఎక్స్ట్ ఈజ్ దేర్ సార్ ఓకే వెల్కమ్ టు దుర్గా సాఫ్ట్ పైథాన్ కోర్స్ సార్ ఇట్ ఈజ్ లైక్ లైక్ ఐ హ్యావ్ ఐ హ్యావ్ సమ్ సమ్ కోడ్ ఈజ్ దేర్ సార్ ఇట్స్ అ వెరీ ఈజీ కోర్స్ ఈవెన్ కిడ్స్ ఆల్సో కెన్ ల్యాండ్ లైక్ దిస్ ఐమ్ ఐమ్ టేకింగ్ సార్ నో మై రిక్వైర్మెంట్ ఈజ్ అబ్జర్వ్ దట్ ఐ వాంట్ టు రైట్ ద ఎ పైథాన్ ప్రోగ్రామ్ ఫస్ట్ వాట్ ఐ హ్యావ్ టు టేక్ ఓపెన్ ఓపెన్ విచ్ ఫైల్ సార్ ఏబిసి డాట్ అట్ ఎక్స్ట్ ఓకే డాట్ రీడ్ ద డేటా ఎస్ యూ 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 కంప్లీటెడ్ రీడింగ్ అండ్ దిస్ టోటల్ డేటా ఐ హ్యావ్ టు ప్రింట్ దట్స్ వై ప్రింట్ ఆఫ్ ప్రింట్ ఆఫ్ లైక్ దిస్ రైట్ ఓకే సో దిస్ టోటల్ ఓపెన్ దిస్ ఫైల్ హ్యావ్ యూ అబ్జర్వ్ జస్ట్ అబ్జర్వ్ ఐ ఓపెన్ ఏబిసి డాట్ ఎక్స్ట్ ఫైల్ అండ్ దెన్ రీడ్ ద డేటా ఆఫ్టర్ రీడింగ్ డేటా ఆఫ్టర్ రీడింగ్ డేటా కెన్ యూ ప్లీజ్ ప్రింట్ దట్ డేటా ఓకే లైక్ ఓన్లీ వన్ లైన్ ఓన్లీ వన్ లైన్ నౌ లెట్ మీ ఎగ్జిక్యూట్ దట్ కోడ్ సార్ ఇఫ్ ఐ ఎగ్జిక్యూట్ పీవై టెస్ట్ డాట్ పీవై హ్యావ్ యూ అబ్జర్వ్ వాట్ ఎవర్ డేటా ఈజ్ దేర్ ఇన్ ద ఫైల్ యూ కెన్ యూ కెన్ ఏబుల్ టు సి సార్ ఇన్ ద ఇన్ ద యూ కెన్ సి ఇన్ ద ఇన్ ద కన్సోల్ సో దట్ మచ్ సింపుల్ కోడ్ ఈ ద పైతాన్ సో యూ కెన్ లర్న్ వెరీ ఈజీలీ సార్ without having any prerequisite without having any programming knowledge so if you can go for c language this much easiness is not there if you go for java this much easiness is not there so in the world for when compared with any other programming language python is a very simple language you can learn very easily right clear for all of you right sir the second important feature of the python is it is a freeware and a open source remember this sir most of the people are having confusion freeware open source both are same or not no no both are not same sir so to use a python how much license fee how much how much fees we require to pay at yeah, the license cost what is the license cost to use python sir very simple we are not required to provide we are not required to pay single paisa also to use python remember that it is a uh, it is a free where any person can use even for business sake also do you know if you go for java if you go for java okay java is a uh, who is the who, who is the vendor for java currently oracle sir ఒరాకెల్ ఇట్ ఈ ద కమర్షియల్ కమర్షియల్ బిజినెస్ ఆర్గనైజేషన్ రైట్ సార్ ఇఫ్ యూ గో ఫర్ సి షార్ప్ డాట్ నెట్ సి షార్ప్ సి షార్ప్ డాట్ నెట్ సార్ సో హూ ఈజ్ ద వెండర్ ఫర్ దిస్ మైక్రోసాఫ్ట్ ఓకే ఇట్ ఈ ద బిజినెస్ ఆర్గనైజేషన్ రైట్ బట్ ఇఫ్ యూ గో ఫర్ పైతాన్ ఇఫ్ యూ గో ఫర్ పైతాన్ సో హూ ఈ ద వెండర్ హూ ఈస్ ద రెస్పాన్సిబుల్ టు మెయింటైన్ నో వెండర్ సార్ దెర్ ఈస్ వన్ చారిటబుల్ ట్రస్ట్ ఫౌండేషన్ ఈజ్ దేర్ దట్ ఫౌండేషన్ ఈజ్ ద రెస్పాన్సిబుల్ ఫర్ ద PSF okay python software foundation is the responsible for this to maintain this python sir that's why it is not uh, sir business organization it is a non profit non profit organization right so to use python we are not required to pay single paisa also okay remember that of course if you want to voluntarily if you want to donate happily you can donate for this foundation what is that sir python software foundation what is the corresponding website python dot org from where you have to download python is from this website only this is from here if you want you can sir pay you can you can you can voluntarily you can donate some amount for this software foundation but anyway it is the free where but java java from java 11 version onwards it is the paid version sir if you want to use for your personal use or business use compulsory license must be required dot net licensed version okay but uh, python it is the freeware happily do you know it is the biggest asset uh, for small scale organizations medium scale organization they are not in a position to pay okay license cost clear right so this is so one another reason sir definitely you should believe python with this is also one reason sir because uh, the scope scope of using python is very huge so because of the, it's a free cost okay well next uh, sir what is uh, open source <coughs> very important sir what is the open open source the source code of the python is open to everyone okay the source code the source code of python is open to everyone assume that this is the python source code sir 
this is the python python source code okay so i feel that this source code is not going to fulfill my requirement then what i will do is i will change some changes i will customize this source code this source code and i can use this customizer version of python sir for to fulfill my requirement right now for this python i want to use durga python <laughs> are you getting i want to use durga durga python so customization for the python is possible because because of this open source clear right sir do you know because of this multiple flavors of python is possible one is durga python another is nagur babu python something like next if you want to work with java applications which python we require to go for jaitan are you getting python which is customized uh, to work with java applications right okay like same way same way if you want to work with c sharp dot net applications then automatically we require to go for iron python are you getting don't feel iron python means uh, the python which is developed by using iron no no uh, the python which can be used uh, to work with the c sharp dot net applications that is called iron python okay like sir do you know i want to work with the big data large volumes of data i want to handle sir for that a specialized version of python came anaconda python are you getting right what is this one anaconda python like this right so this is the advantage of python sir so for every requirement specific version is available in the market happily we can use that specific version and we can fulfill our requirement everyone in the position to understand right source code is open based on our requirement we can customize python software itself because it is the open source clear for most of the programming languages this type of facility may not be available so this is the second feature what we have it is the freeware not required to pay single paisa next open source based on our requirement we can customize python software which is nothing but sir free open source and freeware up to this any doubt clear right sir up to this two features we covered sir simple and easy to learn second one freeware and open source now the next features are python is a high level programming language so high level programming language means a programmer friendly language not mission friendly language any programmer can easily read can easily understand can easily write the code sir python are you getting suppose if i consider a is equal to 10 b is equal to 20 print a a plus b is there are getting print of a plus b anyone can understand this code are getting anyone can understand this code it is a programmer friendly high level programming language okay programmer friendly language right next do you do you know sir being high level programming language we are not required to worry about low level activities okay low level activities means how the memory allocated so next how the objects will be destroyed how the security will be there so such a type of low level activities being a programmer we are not required to we are not responsible for these activities right so memory management i'm not required to worry man memory objects destruction provide free space i'm not responsible internally my python virtual machine is going to take care everything sir if you want to destroy some useless object garbage collector is there are you getting next memory allocation internally python is going to take care security python is going to python virtual machine is going to take care we are not required to worry about the low level activities clear for all of right sir what is that high level programming language programmer friendly language we are not required to worry about low level activities like memory management security these kind of things we are not required to worry clear the next uh, very important feature of the python is it is a platform independent programming language then immediately you ask sir can you please explain how python is platform independent what is the meaning of platform independent nature just observe i want to go for a c program assume assume that i have one c application is there sir c c program is there 
I have three platforms are there. Means the three missions are available, sir. One is Windows platform. I mean Windows Windows mission is available with me. Next, uh, one is uh, one one is uh, okay. Linux mission is available. Linux uh, Linux platform is available for me. Next, uh, another is uh, another another is uh, Mac Mac platform is available, sir. Can you please observe how many missions are there? How many platforms are there? Three platforms are available. Now I want to write a C program which should run on all these platforms. Are you getting on all these platforms? Because I want to distribute one C application for the clients who are using different platforms, right? Then what will happen? Yes. Then what I have to do? Yes. For Windows, okay, a separate C program must be required. C application, C application for Windows, C application for Windows, Windows. The C program which is a developed for Windows operating system, Windows platform, it can't run on Linux, it can't run on Mac. That's why compulsory for every platform, you have to provide that platform specific application, right? So C application for Windows I have to provide. Next, uh, C application, okay, C, C application for for linux for linux platform i have to provide happily it can run okay next uh, c application c application for c application for mac uh, we have to provide like this right sir now can you please tell how many applications are there so three applications how many platforms are available sir three platforms are available so now sir c programming language is the platform dependent programming language remember this one sir so for every platform we require to maintain separate application separate c application that's why this behavior is called platform dependent platform dependent right okay well Sir, when compared with this approach, what is the speciality for the Python? Sir, same terminology, same cinema, we have to discuss a bit a different style. Observe that, sir. I have, how many, how many platforms are there, sir? Okay, here assume that C, Windows platform is there. Windows, Windows platform is there, sir. Observe a bit very carefully. Next, uh, Linux platform is there. Linux, uh, Linux platform is there, sir. Next, uh, Mac platform is also there. Mac Mac platform is also is also there, sir. Okay, like three platforms are there. Now I want to write uh, a Python application, sir. Assume this is the Python application, right? So can you please spell out how many platforms are available? Three platforms. How many Python applications are there? Only one. So write the Python application once, sir. Uh, run anywhere anywhere on any platform sir we are not required to provide this is the python application for windows this is the python application for linux this is the python application for mac such a type of stories are not required for python write a python program once and run anywhere this concept is nothing but what sir platform independent nature sir how platform independent nature is coming very simple sir do you know if you want to run this python application sir on the windows platform what must be required is python virtual machine python virtual machine pvm remember pvm python virtual machine for windows is required for windows is required if i provide if i provide my python program to this pvm PVM is the responsible to convert this program into Windows specific and to execute, sir. Convert, interpret into Windows specific form and execute. Who is the responsible, sir? This PVM is the responsible. Compulsory PVM for Windows must be required. Okay? Same way, Python application, if I want to provide for Linux platform, so compulsory we require to install PVM pvm for linux compulsory we require to install pvm for linux linux this python virtual machine for linux is responsible to convert this python application into linux specific form and execute right okay same way same way if you want to run on mac 
max sir okay pvm for mac must be required pvm for mac must be required observe carefully sir pvm for mac must be required that pvm is the responsible to convert python application into the mac style sir now my question is here how many python programs are available only one only one but how many platforms are available three platforms are available sir write once run anywhere write once run anywhere is the concept of platform independent nature who is going to take care platform specific conversions python virtual machine is going to take care if the pvm is not there then python also should be platform specific but anyway because of this pvm python program is not platform dependent it is the platform independent right are you in the position to understand now sir what is platform independent nature write once run anywhere write once run anywhere is the concept of platform independent nature okay internally who is the reason for platform independent nature of python internally python virtual mission is the reason sir sir next i have one small doubt python is platform dependent or platform independent python program is platform independent but uh, python virtual mission python virtual mission is the platform dependent because for windows separate pvm is required for linux separate pvm is required for mac separate pvm is required so platform specific pvm we have to install sir means the pvm is the platform dependent but my python application is the platform independent clear for all of friend but what about this c language please respond what about the c language c language is the platform dependent or platform independent platform dependent for every platform separate applications we have to write for windows windows a specific application for linux linux a specific application mac mac specific application we have to write c is the platform dependent but python is platform independent clear for all of right this is so maybe a chance to ask what is the meaning of platform independent nature can you explain how it is the platform independent you should be in the position to tell clear right sir the next feature what i have to discuss portable python is portable programming language sir what is the meaning of portable can you please observe don't talk about programming sir normal in our day to day life where you had portable portability like have you remembered at our childhood we had the word portable tv portable tv what is the meaning of portable tv sir you can move that tv from one place to another place very easily portable portable 14 inches portable tv like we can move from one place to another place very easily next uh, these days especially in, in india of course most of the countries are already adapted in india do you know mobile number portability have you heard about this one sir mobile number portability suppose currently i am using airtel service right okay currently i am using airtel airtel mobile mobile service i am using sir my mobile number is okay this is my mobile number okay like i am using currently airtel service but assume airtel service is not good not good i want to change a service provider from airtel to idea are getting i want to change my service provider from airtel to idea sir idea so now sir can i can i get the same number or not yes can i get the same number or not without the affecting your number okay without changing your number you can migrate from airtel to idea or idea to airtel no problem at all this type of thing is called mobile number portability are getting that what is this word mobile number mobile number portability mobile number portability right earlier do you know we have by seeing the number is it bsnl number 
ఆర్ ఈజ్ ఇట్ ఎయిర్టెల్ నంబర్ వీ కెన్ డిసైడ్ సార్ నైన్ ఫోర్ ఫోర్ జీరో బిఎస్ఎన్ఎల్ నంబర్ నైన్ ఎయిట్ ఫోర్ నైన్ ఫోర్ ఓకే ఇట్ ఈస్ ఎయిర్టెల్ నంబర్ నైన్ ఎయిట్ ఫోర్ ఎయిట్ జీరో ఇట్ ఈస్ ఐడియా నంబర్ బట్ నౌ దీస్ రేస్ వీ ఆర్ నాట్ హ్యావింగ్ ఎనీ సచ్ టైప్ ఆఫ్ ఆప్షన్స్ ఆర్ గెటింగ్ బికాస్ నంబర్ విల్ బీ ద సేమ్ యూ కెన్ చేంజ్ యువర్ సర్వీస్ ప్రొవైడర్ సో ద ప్రాసెస్ ఆఫ్ మైగ్రేటింగ్ మొబైల్ నంబర్ ఫ్రమ్ వన్ సర్వీస్ ప్రొవైడర్ టు ఎనదర్ సర్వీస్ ప్రొవైడర్ వితౌట్ చేంజింగ్ యువర్ our number is called what mobile number portability clear for all of that what the meaning of mobile number portability now what the meaning of python application portability i will explain have a look once sir sir i have one windows machine is there assume that i have windows windows machine is there sir windows machine is there in this windows machine happily my python application is running sir python python app is running but anyway because of license issues because of security issues i want to i want to move to linux platform are you getting linux more secure next up for linux no no license cost and so on that's why i want to i decided i want to migrate this python application to the linux platform sir now my question is if you are migrating to linux mission i want i want to migrate this python application python python application from windows to windows to linux mission is it possible to migrate or not yes because python application never talks about underlying platform on any platform it can run on any platform it can run so without performing any changes in our application or with minimum changes you can migrate our python programs from one platform to another platform this is called this is called portability are you getting the process of migrating application from one platform to another platform very easily this is called what a portability so python applications are portable or not yes obviously this is what right of course internally platform independent nature is also one reason is the reason right but migrating from one platform to another platform very easy sir you are not required to perform any changes in your application which is nothing but portability concept any doubt clear sir the next feature what i have to discuss dynamically typed so from first class onwards i'm i'm talking about this dynamically typed so in old languages or in other languages like java if you consider other language java if you want to declare a variable sir i'm taking a is equal to 10 like this in java i'm taking like this immediately java compiler will give left and right are you are taking a where you declare this a cannot find a symbol variable a like you are going to get the error sir if you want to observe a bit carefully here i'm taking a simple example sir here just the java code i'm taking don't worry about this class test within that i'm taking a is equal to 10 sir a small a small code it is the java code even you don't know about java don't worry just observe keep on listening sir now i saved this code yes test dot java observe a is equal to 10 public static void main a is equal to 10 is there sir now let me compile this java program java java program if i compile this one immediately compiler will give left and right boss where you declared a where do you declared a you didn't declare the a what is the type of this a like a compiler is going to object sir can you please have a look once cannot find a symbol are you getting cannot find a symbol which is symbols are variable a i'm unable to see this variable a like that compile time error you are going to get so means that each and every variable you have to declare with the type then only it is going to be accepted so compulsory we have to take int a is equal to 10 remember this one we should do that int a is equal to 10 then only it will be acceptable in java have a look once so if i can int if i can take here here just int a is equal to 10 int a is equal to 10 like this right 
now now it will be accepted no problem at all it is accepted sir okay well so in other languages like java compulsory we have to declare the type explicitly such a type of languages are called statically typed languages what is this word sir statically statically typed languages type compulsory we have to declare at the beginning only sir so, but in python what is the story but in python what is the what is the story sir very simple sir i am taking a is equal to 10 sir so is it accepted or not perfectly it is accepted are i didn't declare the type i didn't declare the type still it is going to be accepted in python we are not required to declare type explicitly of course we can't declare we are not required to declare type explicitly based on your provided value automatically the type will be considered based on your provided value automatically the type will be considered this nature is by default considered as dynamically typed programming language sir what is the what is the type what is the type of a can you please print the type of a like print print type of a sir print type of a simple it is going to tell that int type sir okay int int type have a look once sir sir i am taking a a is equal to a is equal to 10 sir in python i am taking a is equal to 10 print of can you please print type of a sir print of type of a i didn't declare the type but now i am asking the type sir what will happen here py test dot py py test dot py have a look once have a look once what is the type sir int type so in python we are not required to declare the type explicitly based on our provided value the type will be considered automatically this type of nature is by default considered as what dynamically typed programming language are getting dynamically typed programming language okay c c++ java R statically typed uh, compulsory we have to declare the type explicitly next the uh, python javascript these are dynamically typed programming languages we are not required to declare the type explicitly is it clear right point number 1 next the uh, because of this dynamically typed uh, there is one more advantage is there what is that advantage is observe this one sir in java i have int a is equal to 10 sir after some time i am taking a is equal to durga like this i am taking a is equal to durga durga is a string type string value i am trying to assign sir immediately compiler is going to give left and right are durga pagal ho gaya mental mental ho gaya mental so a you declared already what type int type you declared already int type how you can assign how you can assign string value incompatible type string cannot be converted to int like this we are going to get this error sir have a look once in java if you consider if you consider int a after some code a is equal to durga like this i am taking sir a is equal to durga durga like this i am taking sir now what compile time method you are going to get have a look once incompatible types string cannot be converted to int incompatible type string cannot be converted to int like this compile time method right but the same thing i want to do in python but the same thing i want to do in python no problem at all we didn't uh, specify the type explicitly sir a is equal to n int type next uh, in the next line i am taking a is equal to durga sir a is equal to durga now onwards a acts as string type now the type of a will become string int type is override with string type print print type of a sir print type of a now onwards it will become str type now onwards it will become str type so a variable in its life we can use the same variable for multiple types in python but uh, once we decided the type throughout its life this variable is always int type only are you seeing the difference right so this is which is the more flexible to the programmer 
मोर यूजफुल टू द प्रोग्रामर ओके मोर फ्लेक्सीबिलिटी टू द प्रोग्रामर इज दिस टाइप ऑफ थिंग राइट सो फॉर इंट टाइप वन वेरिएबल फॉर स्ट्रिंग टाइप अनदर वेरिएबल फॉर फ्लो टाइप अनदर वेरिएबल वी आर नॉट रिक्वायर्ड टू डिक्लेयर सेम वेरिएबल वी कैन यूज फॉर मल्टीपल टाइप्स आल्सो एक्सेप्टेबल सर लेट मी शो दिस वन हैव अ लुक वंस सर इन पाइथन इन इन पाइथन हियर ये इज इक्वल टू दुर्गा टेकन नव ऑन वर्ड्स वाट इज द टाइप ऑफ ये सर प्रिंट टाइप ऑफ ये प्रिंट टाइप ऑफ ये हैव यू अब्जॉर्व दैन सॉरी सॉरी दिस इज द जावा कोड हैव यू अब्जॉर्व राइट सर अब्जॉर्व सो एट द बिगिनिंग इट इज द इंटर टाइप बट नव इट 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 बिकेम स्ट्रिंग एस टी आर टाइप सर सर नव ऑन टेकिंग ए इज इक्वल टू ट्रू सर ए इज इक्वल टू ट्रू प्रिंट ऑफ टाइप ऑफ ये print of type of a like this i'm taking have you observed what the answer we are going to get now on what's it is the bool type so means that the same variable we can use for multiple types based on our requirement okay the type is not fixed in python so more flexibility to the programmer sir how many variables i declared how many variables i'm using only one variable but what is the type of this variable sometimes i'm using for int type sometimes i'm using for string type sometimes i'm using for boolean type this type of thing is not possible in other languages like java are you are you in the position to understand that right? so what is the advantage of dynamically typed what is the meaning of dynamically typed very very simple sir in python we are not required to declare type explicitly based on provided value automatically type will be considered this type of thing is called dynamically typed language same variable in its life we can use for multiple types more flexibility to the programmer any doubt clear right sir the next feature what i have to discuss both the procedure oriented and the object oriented right sir what it means observe carefully if i go for c language c language are c you are which type of programming language then immediately c person is going to tell um procedure oriented programming language okay don't worry sir maybe in the next session if it is required i will explain what the meaning of procedure oriented next uh, if i can ask uh, java if i can ask java are you are which type of programming language immediately java person is going to tell i am object oriented programming language like sir now observe c language missing the benefits of oops are you getting in the oops beautiful concepts are there like uh, do you know inheritance polymorphism polymorphism inheritance encapsulation these kind of things right so c missing the benefits of oops next java missing the benefits of procedure oriented okay this is code more more what we call code less code concise code such a type of beautiful procedure oriented features we are going to miss in java sir of course slowly java people also starts thinking about that these race right okay sir now if i can ask python are what are you about you are what are you about what are you about you if i can ask python python is going to tell very simple man i am all rounder are you getting python is what all rounder yes myself is procedure oriented language procedure oriented programming language myself is object oriented programming language myself is scripting language are you getting myself is scripting scripting language so python acts as modular programming language are getting modular modular programming language python is all rounder based on our requirement you can use python as procedure oriented language or object oriented or scripting language or modular programming language all the features are there we never going to miss any benefit of any programming paradigm because my python follows each and every feature programming features right are you in the position to understand beautiful facility man other languages won't provide this type of support if you want 
class and object object oriented you can use python if you want just the right functions call that function right functions calls that procedure oriented right so just a group of lines line by line i want to execute scripting all facilities are there in based on your programming requirement you can use python in any style so it's more flexible to use clear right this is python is what all uh, python is what all rounder python is all rounder all benefits which you are going to get in python remember sir now the next feature what i have to discuss interpreted python is interpreted sir do you know we are not required to compile python program remember this one sir it is a interpreted programming language we are not required to compile python program sir if you consider c program if you if you consider c program we have to compile and execute we require to compile and execute if you consider java if you consider java application we have to compile and run run or execute both are the same but uh, if you are considering python if we are considering python we have to run that all we are not required to compile internally interpreter is responsible to compile programmer we are not required to compile explicitly inside python virtual machine interpreter is there that interpreter is responsible for performing compilation right if any syntactical mistakes are there then immediately interpreter is going to raise syntax errors right but all syntactical mistakes got cleared then only python virtual machine starts its execution so more flexibility to the programmer we are not required to yeah uh, we are not required to compile we are not required to compile explicitly remember this one sir okay so the, just the, it is the interpreted okay like uh, so programmer will get more flexibility right the next feature what i have to discuss extensible remember what is the meaning of extensible you can extend you can extend functionality of python application with the some other language applications what it means is sir some c program is there some java program is there can i use that in my python application or not yes no problem at all we can use other language programs in our python sir what is the need very very simple sir i want to develop a python application assume that this is the python python application i want to develop sir this is my requirement in the some x y z functionality required sir some functionality is required but anyway there is a some java code is there for this functionality java code is already there for x y z functionality okay so it is a non python code is it possible to use this non python code inside our python yes no problem at all so this uh, we can use other language code in our python yes happily it is acceptable remember that so what is the advantage of this one sir the biggest advantage here is we can use we can use a legacy we can use a legacy non python code non python code in our python application so development time we can reduce already existing things we can use okay one area second area sir performance assume that assume that there is one area is there here performance is a very important sir assume that some x some x x x like some area is there where performance is the very critical assume that this uh, wherever performance is the critical sorry python is not that much that much good performance wise what i have to do yes i will i will develop that that functionality by using c sir c c code i will write c code and i can start using that c code in my python are you getting that i can write c code so that the biggest advantage of this approach is performance of the application 
overall performance of the application of the application will be improved sir overall performance of the application will be improved remember that i hope everyone in the position to understand right so the main important point we can use other language applications in our python code what advantages are there legacy already existing non python code happily we can use second thing is so performance gaps are there those performance gaps also happily we can we can we can able to fill with other language code clear for all of you right what is the meaning of extensible okay like next the uh, embedded next uh, feature i have to discuss right sir 10th one embedded embedded sir okay embedded what is the meaning of embedded embedded same thing extensible in reverse means uh, we can use a python code in any other language applications right sir i have java application is there okay for a particular task python i want to use sir so python code python code to can work with java application jaitan 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 version of python we require to use jaitan we require to use so python code inside java application happily we can use happily it can use right similarly i want to develop one c sharp dot net application c sharp dot net application in that can i use python or not happily we can use python means uh, we can embed our python script in any other language application clear for all of right what is the meaning of embedded what is the advantage of this is so the scope of the scope of this python code is going to be improved sir so you can use this python code in c sharp dot net in java in c language so everywhere you can use this python code means the worthy of this python code is going to be improved the scope the scope of our application is going to be raised like anything so our application will become what scalable clear for all of you right so what is the meaning of extensible means in our python application you can use other language code what is the meaning of embedded we can use python code in any other languages also embedded extensible so together our python with the other languages together can do wonderful things any doubt sir the next feature what i have to discuss related to python extensive library extensive library observe very carefully sir in python for every requirement ready made library is available sir for every requirement ready made library lakhs of libraries are there in python no other programming language has this much library support do you know so that's why some people may use python has batteries battery batteries each battery itself is nothing but library huge library support is there being programmer we can use these libraries directly we are not required to implement functionality right okay so because of this rich library we can write python code very easily with the concise code remember this one sir so python has sir libraries python has batteries a rich library support is available for the python okay well sir now if you want just a small chota example i want to tell do you know otp otp one time password bank applications bank transactions if you want to do otp must be required okay then well, sir write a python program to generate six digit otp is my requirement right okay write a program write a program to generate to generate six digit to generate six digit six digit otp this is my requirement right do you know if i can ask a c programmer if i can ask a java programmer pass he may take minimum 10 minutes time are getting a big code is going to write but if you can ask python programmer just a matter of 1 minute is more enough are getting 1 minute is more enough two or three lines of the code is more enough how sir how we can do that because to generate random numbers already one battery is available already one li library is available that library is called random library are you getting right what is this library sir random library 
this library contain rand int function rand int function so if you provide 0 comma 9 it is responsible to generate a random number from 0 to 9 automatically it will generate some random number we can't guess which random number we are going to get sir so import this library call this function automatically a random digit we are going to get but uh, our requirement is six digit otp right call this function six times call this function six times automatically six digit otp is going to come are you getting right do you want me to show here observe carefully right what i'm trying to take is just i want to write a small python program okay from random so random is python inbuilt module sir Five, five, sir. Let me run again. This time three. Let me run again four. Let me run again zero. Let me run again seven. Let me run again one. Sir, are you getting? Are you seeing right? So random int value we are getting. But sir, how many digits are required? Can you please spell out how many digits? Six digits are required. So what I have to take? You have to call this function six times. Sir. Next, uh, one biggest speciality for the Python print statement is you can pass uh, any number of arguments you can pass any number of arguments that's why so just uh, if you print like a space b space c space d space e space f like this it's going to print uh, the corresponding a b c d value so you can pass uh, six times uh, the same for the print argument like sir what is the way okay so rand int uh, uh, this is the function just uh, with comma separation take six times uh, second time comma third time comma fourth time comma fifth time comma sixth time that's all sir comma sixth time so total how many times i considered sir six times i considered now you are six digit random otp is ready are you getting six 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 zero two don't feel sir this one is always going to generate six sir. no guarantee now if you observe eight one three four zero five if you observe four double five two nine four if you observe three zero nine eight four one okay six three six zero one three five six zero eight okay like uh, it's going to generate from zero to nine some random number okay like six digit random number then immediately you may ask sir i don't want space i don't want space in the middle sir so can you please remove the space just one small argument i have to take what is that argument is so a comma b comma c comma d a space b space and so on comma last uh, s e p is equal to empty are i don't want any separator separator like i have to pass s e p is equal to empty of course we will discuss in detail don't worry sir have a look once s e p s e p is equal to at last comma s e p is equal to empty separator is equal to empty empty means no space no space in the middle have you observed 503 157 next the 73 8857 104 like this have you observed right like it's going to come sir this is the way how to print how to generate a random six digit random number how many lines of the code is required <laughs> how many lines of the code is required two lines if you can ask a java person c language person oh they are going to write this much lengthy code remember that so that is the biggest advantage of python concise code suppose sir i don't want one otp i want to 10 otps i want to 10 otp just use a small for loop have a look once how easy to use for loop so for i in range of 10 sir for i in range of 10 that's all for i in range of 10 10 sir print uh, so means uh, this for loop is going to execute 10 times 10 otps will be generated have a look once yes friend 10 otps are generated no two otps are the same can you please observe that okay 
Now let me execute again. Let me execute again. Let me execute again. This is that much is simple. So even big, big, lengthy requirements also, complex requirements also, because of library support, we can write very easily with the Python batteries, Python libraries. Clear for all of you, right? These are various important features related to Python. Sir, now let me summarize all the features related to Python, whatever we covered. Observe carefully, sir. What is the first one? Simple and easy to learn. Sir, have you observed? Reading Python, Python program is just like reading English language. It is a very simple, concise code. Concise code is the biggest advantage. We can reduce development time and we can reduce project cost also. Okay, everyone can able to learn very easily, sir. Just only 33 keywords are available. If you understand those 33 keywords, you will become Python expert. Remember, what is the next one, sir? It is a freeware and open source. To use Python, we are not required to pay single paisa because Python is coming from Python Software Foundation, a non-profitable organization, right? Okay. Next, it is the open source. So, we can access source code of the Python based on your requirement. You can customize Python and happily you can use that customizer version. Python, Iron Python, PyPy, like multiple Anaconda Python, Minaconda Python, like there are multiple Python versions are available okay like next uh, high level programming language okay so it is a programmer friendly language remember next uh, low level activities like uh, memory management security object destruction all these low level activities my python virtual mission is going to take care being a programmer we are not required to worry about uh, these activities right clear for love right so high level programming language Next, uh, platform independent nature. Sir, write once uh, your Python application, you can run on any platform. Okay, Python never going to depend on particular platform. If I write one Python script, it can run on Windows machine, Linux machine, Mac machine. Who is the responsible? to convert uh, that Python application into platform specific internally Python virtual mission is the responsible Python virtual mission is the platform dependent uh, but Python application is platform independent uh, remember that next uh, portability sir we can migrate Python application from one platform to another platform very very easily with Without affecting, without performing any changes, we can migrate Python applications from one platform to another platform very easily, sir. Today, I'm using Windows. But tomorrow, Windows license cost is the bigger headache for me. Security is also not up to the mark. I want to migrate my Python program from Windows mission to Linux mission. Happily, you can do same functionality you are going to get. You are not required to perform any code changes. So, migration will become very easy which is a nothing but what portability right next uh, dynamically typed do you know this is python specific this feature is not available with the crc plus plus or java or c sharp dot net right so dynamically typed so in python we are not required to declare type explicitly based on our runtime requirement based on our provided value automatically type will be considered are getting this behavior is nothing but what dynamically typed we can use a same variable for multiple types based on our requirement that flexibility is also there to the programmer okay like next the both the procedure oriented object oriented sir sir you know python he is all rounder he can perform he can perform keeping he can perform bowling he can perform batting also <laughs> okay like uh, same way yeah so python is object oriented procedure oriented okay like uh, even scripting language modular programming language based on your requirement in any style you can use python happily python can mold based on your requirement right so 
Python can enjoy the benefits of procedural programming, object-oriented programming, next uh, scripting language benefits, modular programming language benefits, all those benefits by default will be available to the Python. Sir, it is also Python-specific behavior, which is not there for C, which is not there for Java, which is not available for C, uh, C++ or C Sharp .net, right? Okay, Python-specific. Next, Python is interpreted. We are not required to compile. We are not required to compile. Internally, Python interpreter is going to take care about compilation, syntax checking, all those things Python interpreter will take care, sir. We are not required to compile. Compile Python interpreter is a part of Python virtual mission. Of course, internally take care. Just we have to execute Python code. Okay. Next, uh, extensible means uh, you can use other language applications in python okay inside python java application you can use .NET application you can use c language application you can use right python application will become extensible okay like uh, next the uh, embedded sir you can use uh, your python application inside uh, c application java application right python applications can be embedded anywhere okay which is nothing but what embedded so if you have embedded capability your application will become powerful the scalability of application is going to be rise like anything sir okay well next uh, python having extensive library Tons of libraries are available inside Python, inbuilt libraries, third party libraries, right? For every requirement, libraries are available. Do you know even complex requirements also? With these libraries, happily we can write the code, sir. Do you know it is also Python specific behavior? This much library support, no other language having, sir. What is this one? Extensive library. Each library itself is a battery. Python has batteries means that python has libraries clear for all of you right so these are sir 11 important features what you have to explain if any person is asking can you please explain features of python but especially these three dynamically typed procedure oriented object oriented all rounder next extensive library these are specific to python these features are not supported in java or c or c plus plus or dot net right is it clear for all of you right that's all sir by mistake any person is asking can you please explain features of python give left and right to that person clear right hi friends in the last videos we covered very clearly what are various features of python okay python is a dynamically typed platform independent portable like uh, multiple features we covered sir sir what is the next topic we have to discuss related to python fundamentals okay limitations of python sir what are various major limitations are there for the python sir i know python is the king python is a hero but uh, there are some areas python is not up to the mark what are various such type of limitations are there okay just observe that sir do you know here we have m l is there what is that m l <laughs> what is the ml sir mission learning do you know mission learning yes sir. these days uh, trending word mission learning mission learning type right? to double mission learning applications sir python is the best choice you know right python itself is the best choice to develop mission learning applications then immediately we may ask why sir why the reason is is also known as backward compatibility what is this one sir can you please spell out backward compatibility this feature is also known as backward compatibility if you install java 11 in your system it can provide support for java 10 java 9 java 8 like this this support is called what backward compatibility advantage is there problem is also there slowly we will discuss what is the problem advantage is every new version should provide support for all old versions right okay well so same way now i will ask the question python 2. Point, if if i install python 3x python 3x 3 3.7 or 3.6 like is it going to provide support for python 2.x or not 
and they respond with this knowledge you can you can tell very easily if i install python 3x huh, is it going to provide support for python 2.x or not yes or no <laughs> yes or no legend very carefully very dangerous point sir sir python 3x huh, is a not a advanced version of python 2x remember python 2x it is it is one language assume that python 3x is a not a extension to python 2x it is a developed yes completely independent language remember this one sir python 3.x developed yes completely independent language this language sir not extension to python 2.x version remember that that's why if it is the next new release it should provide support for old versions but it's developed like a complete brand new programming language that's why python 3.x version won't provide support for python 2.x remember this one in python 2.x sir do you know long data type is there which is not there in the python 3.x regarding in python 2.x do you know if you want to print print hello print hello like this i'm taking sir so parentheses are optional in the python 2x but in python 3x parentheses must be required print of hello parentheses must be required but in in 2x in 2x you know parentheses are not there are not are optional but here must be required that's why so it is completely developed as new programming language that's why backward compatibility is not there python 3x there is no guarantee it is going to provide support for python 2.x are you getting are you in the position to understand clearly right sir this is so what is the is it a problem or not yes obviously backward compatibility is not there it is the problem but what is the advantage so if you are missing something you are going to get something what the advantage here is sir if i want to add any new feature to this one i never worry about is it going to be provided support in the python 2x is it going to be provided support in the python 1x or not because we are not required to worry about backward compatibility our hands are completely free you can add any new feature to the python 3x remember this one because python 2x python 1x are old 1991 time languages but today 2019 maybe programming requirements rapidly got changed then if i want to use old version only it is a bigger problem that's why so it is the brand new you can add any type of libraries as per current trending requirement that's why so advantage here is you can add the new features very freely very easily easily because backward compatibility is not there that is the biggest advantage right so because if it is implemented as the language separate language advantage what is the advantage so it will become more powerful as per current market requirement but the problem backward compatibility is not there is it clear for all of you right sir but uh, in java in java 11 or java 12 if i want to add one small new feature i have to think about 1.0 supported 1.1 supported 1.2 supported by considering all these things uh, okay this feature not recommended to add because java 7 may not provide support so it's a bigger problem problem sir that's why because of this backward compatibility java people hands are very tight they are not in a position to add new features that much freely right okay but here in python we are not having such type of problem remember this if any java person is going to ask are durga java is going down so to make java powerful what we have to do what we require to do if any java person if oracle people are going to approach me my suggestion is always sir java came in 1995 1995 almost around uh, sir 24 25 years before language eh? you are keep on adding that feature this feature that modification this modification and so on so there the programming requirements are different current programming requirements are different current day to day programming requirements are different better to release uh, a brand new java then definitely you are going to succeed if you are keep on adding that modification that feature this feature definitely it will be go craft going down only remember that that's why so compulsory 
recommended brand new programming language as per current market trending requirements that's why so are you able to understand right python 2x python 3x both are different both are developed as independent languages or it is extension to python 2x no independent language the advantage is you can add a new features very easily the problem is backward compatibility is not there sir clear for all of you right next sir do you know a small analogy okay your grandfather your grandfather so almost around the 30 years before constructed a small house sir <laughs> assume that a small house your grandfather constructed assume assume that then you have to do modifications for the same house okay do that modification do this modification do, do this modification and so on what will happen <laughs> what will happen how many modifications you can do for that small for that old house if you are keep on modifying 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 adding some new feature new feature at certain day this one is going to be down this one is going to be collapsed are you getting that's why what you have to do after 20 years or after 25 years instead of performing modifications to the old one better to construct a new new house are getting better to construct a new house if i construct a new house today as per market requirement i can i can add the, the required features are getting so in python people did the constructing the new house but java people are doing what is that for the same old house only they are doing that modification this modification that is the reason why java is slowly going down i hope everyone in the position to understand right okay well next the 2x 3x which one is the recommended as per current market requirement trends compulsory we should go for python 3x we are not required to learn python 2x sir sir next the make sure from 2020 onwards python people updated no support for python 2x okay only support is available for python 3x that's why if you want to learn python our hand should go for one python 3x version any doubt are you in the position to understand right what are various python versions which version is the recommended when compared with java what facilities are there in the python 3x backward compatibility what is the story like this right clear for all of you my friends in the last videos we covered very clearly about the basic python introduction what are various application areas of python features next what are limitations next the flavors are available python versions like multiple theoretical things we just completed right sir now the next thing what i have to discuss sir slowly programming we require to start before starting the next basic things are identifiers identifiers and reserved words we have to discuss sir the next uh, let me talk first python identifiers okay this is the topic what we are going to start sir sir now can you please tell what is identifier yes friends identifier what it means suppose in my class almost around 10 students are there assume that how i can identify each person is ravi shiva pavan okay like by name by name i can identify each person a name in python program is called identifier sir here human human names we are we are using student names to identify the student same way we have to use a name to identify variable to identify class to identify method that the name itself is considered yes identifier so a name in python program are you getting name name in python program is called identifier okay like sir it can be a variable name it can be a variable name or it can be class name or it can be method name like uh, any name a name in python program is called identifier which can be used for identification purpose okay like sir i'm taking a is equal to 10 sir are you getting a is equal to 10 sir what is a a is name of variable which can be used to represent 10 this a itself is nothing but identifier right are you getting what is the meaning of identifier the name itself is identifier 
okay similarly sir i am taking class class test class test okay some code i am going to write sir okay anyway in object oriented programming i will discuss in detail class test colon just like this sir sir what is a test test is name of the class this name itself is nothing but identifier are you in a position to understand right what is identifier identifier is a name it can be a method name variable name class name which can be used for identification purpose if 10 variables are there how i can identify each variable by using its name if 10 classes are there how i can differentiate each class by using its name sir same for methods and modules also okay well so now just assume you have one kid is there do you have the kids hey respond man do you have the kids yes or no ha huh, do you have the kids okay don't tell no no even you are not having the kids so don't tell no you have to tell soon you have to tell soon okay the reason is you are learning very trending programming language python after completing python learning you will get the job once you got the job obviously you will get the marriage once you are getting the marriage obviously blessed with the kids don't worry sir just soon you are going to get the kids okay well now assume you have one kid is there you have to name your kid you have to create name for your kid okay like so you compulsory you have to choose do you know uh, something like a naming ceremony in our in our families it's a big festival okay it's going to celebrate like anything man naming ceremony for the kid it's a, it's a, it's a great uh, ceremony in the in the houses okay like assume you have to create name for your kid okay compulsory the name is going to reflect either god name or goddess name or otherwise your ancestor name like your grandfather name or grandmother name something like it's going to reflect or if you are very modern person open the google the most stylish name hindu name or muslim name starts with k like you are going to search and then you will keep the name so you are doing the great research to name your kids correct right it's a it's a it's a very common sir in our houses the same way if you want to create python name compulsory we have to follow certain rules and regulations okay what rules are there for python identifiers almost around four to five rules are there these things i have to discuss right okay just uh, observe a bit very carefully about uh, this uh, terminology sir rules uh, to define identifiers like rules uh, to define or create create python identifiers okay what rules are there like sir the first first rule sir the only allowed characters in python identifiers are alphabet symbols alphabet symbols either small a to z or capital a to z okay either small a to z capital alphabet symbols are allowed digits are allowed 0 to 9 digits are allowed next uh, underscore symbol is allowed are getting underscore underscore symbol is allowed the only allowed characters in python identifiers are these are the things right a to z capital a to z 0 to 9 underscore symbol by mistake if you are using any other character immediately syntax error we are going to get python virtual machine will give left and right remember that suppose if i am taking example c a s h is equal to 10 i am taking c a s h is equal to 10 is it valid or not valid valid c a dollar h is equal to 20 i am taking immediately syntax error we are going to get what is the reason for that is dollar is not allowed symbol in python identifier are you getting right so only alphabet symbols digits and underscore symbol only no other symbols are allowed dollar not allowed okay like sir similarly sir all at the rate hands all at the rate hands is equal to 30 i am taking if we can take like this immediately error we are going to get what is the reason for that get the rate symbol we are not allowed to use are you getting right first rule which symbols are allowed okay these are only allowed symbols by mistake if you are using any other character immediately you will get error have a look once observe carefully right 
here i am taking so c a c a s h is equal to 10 valid sir perfect c a dollar h is equal to 20 i am taking have you observed syntax error invalid syntax syntax error invalid syntax next all at the rate hands all at the rate hands is equal to 30 i am taking sir again syntax error again syntax error something like all at the rate hands is equal to 30 again it is the syntax error like this so the important conclusion what you people should aware these are the only characters which are allowed in python identifiers by mistake if you are using any other symbol syntax error okay well now the second rule sir do you know if i can take like this can you please confirm total 1 2 3 is equal to 10 i am taking 1 2 3 total is equal to 20 i am taking can you please confirm among these two which is valid which is invalid are both are valid or both are invalid do you know this rule is ap applicable in almost every programming language don't feel it is python specific sir do you know perfectly this one is valid second one is invalid perfectly first one is valid second one is invalid why what the reason for that hmm what the reason for that very simple the reason is identifier should not start with the digit observe that identifier should not start with the digit by mistake identifier starts with the digit immediately syntax error again remember what is the second rule sir identifiers cannot start with the digit observe carefully here i am taking total total 1 2 3 is equal to sorry sorry total 1 2 3 is equal to 10 i'm taking if i can take total 1 2 3 is equal to 10 perfectly valid sir perfectly valid valid no problem at all 1 2 3 total is equal to 10 i'm taking immediately syntax error we are going to get invalid syntax identifiers should not start with the digit are you getting right so second rule is the very clear for you people right identifier can't start with the digit next the third one sir here observe carefully here i'm taking third rule if i can take total is equal to 10 total is equal to 20 sir total is equal to 30 how many variables i'm taking three variable but what is the difference difference in the values difference here with the case also here all are lower case but next one only first letter is upper case but the next one all are upper case so can you please tell case is important in python or not what answer you have to tell python is case sensitive programming language where case is important sir of course python identifiers also case sensitive are you getting so lower case and upper case there is a difference there in the python identifiers right so python identifiers are case sensitive or not yes of course python itself is a case sensitive programming language sir have a look once is it real or not okay i'm taking total is equal to 10 total is equal to 10 sir total is equal to 20 sir now total is equal to 30 i'm taking sir how many variables i declared three variables i declared sir so with respect to case you can differentiate suppose i'm asking total what is the value i have to get sir 10 is the answer if i can take uh, total if i can take total what is the answer 20 is the answer if i can take uh, total what is the answer we have to get sir 30 is the answer we are going to get so terminology is the very clear for you people right so python identifiers are case sensitive okay well sir now fourth rule very important rule sir of course this rule is applicable everywhere do you know is there any length limit uh, for python identifier can you please confirm is there any length limit uh, for python identifier no length limit if you want you can take one crore length identifier also acceptable man there is no no length limit are you getting no length limit uh, for python identifiers remember that have a look once sir here i'm taking 
here I'm taking sir x x x x x x x x and so on is equal to 10 I'm taking yes perfectly itself is valid sir if I if I'm trying to print uh, what is the value if I'm trying to print uh, what is the what is the value of this one yes 10 we are going to get it is it is the acceptable sir now here assume that assume assume that I'm taking one variable sir what's my variable is x x x x x and so on <laughs> don't get shocked don't get shocked okay now i'm taking y y y y y y like this i'm taking and then and then i'm taking z z z z z z like this i'm taking z z z z like like i'm taking sir its value i'm trying to take just a 10 its value i'm trying to take just a 10 sir okay observe a bit dangerous line what i'm trying to take was it is the its value is the 10 wow this is the variable sir now i want to print the, the value of this variable i want to print the, the value of this variable sir now i have to use print of okay like this i'm taking print of like sir anyway instead of 10 let me take double seven double seven like this i'm taking i'm trying to print sir can you please confirm is it going to work or not is it is it is it going to work or not okay let me go for d column durga classes py test.py py test.py i wrote a beautiful application sir now i'm taking i'm trying to execute yes perfectly it's going to work it's 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 working it's going to print double seven double seven sir now i called one expert programmer observe one expert person i called Are, i wrote beautiful python program have a look once like i showed this code sir to the python expert then he asked he saw First, uh, what is the feeling is up from top to bottom? Durga, what you did? Sir, I declared one variable. I'm trying to print the value of this variable. To declare a variable under trying to print the value of variable, this much code is required. This much code is required. What, what it means? Is it a designer? Is it a Python program? Like, uh, he's going to get left and right, I'm sure. So, means that, means that, sir, even there is no length limit for the identifier, but not recommended to take uh, two lengthy identifiers. Unnecessary, readability by default is going to be down. Everyone in the position to understand, right? Readability by default itself is going to be down, sir. Not recommended to take two lengthy identifiers. Length of the identifier should be okay, medium. Next, the name itself is going to reflect the purpose of that identifier. Okay, don't take 100 length, 200 length, 300 length identifiers. Not good programming practice. Okay, well, sir, next, the next point, sir very very important point like no length limit sir now if i can take x is equal to 10 valid or not ah, x is equal to 10 perfectly valid no problem right if i can take if i can take if is equal to 20 if i can take if is equal to 20 immediately error we are going to get the reason for that is in python if is a keyword regarding if is a keyword reserved word okay so in python keywords are there reserved words are there these keywords are reserved words having some special meaning or functionality we can't use uh, these keywords are reserved words as identifiers by mistake if you are trying to use immediately error we are going to get any doubt about this terminology sir okay this is uh, another another important point have a look once sir i'm trying to take sir i'm i'm trying to i'm trying to take if x is equal to 10 valid no issue at all if is equal to 10 i'm taking sir if i can take if is equal to 10 syntax error invalid syntax okay syntax error invalid syntax right so these are various important conclusions what you have to follow while defining identifiers right so total how many rules are there five rules what is the rule number one the only allowed characters in python identifiers are alphabet symbols digits underscore symbol next the second rule python identifiers can't starts with the digit okay by mistake if you are trying to start with the digit immediately error we are going to get second rule sir 
थर्ड रोल थर्ड रोल सर पाइथन आइडेंटिफायर सर केस सेंसिटिव लोअर केस एंड अपर केस देयर इज अ डिफरेंस इन देयर ऑफ कोर्स पाइथन लैंग्वेज इटसेल्फ इज केस सेंसिटिव प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेज ओके वेल नेक्स्ट देयर इज नो लेंथ लिमिट फॉर पाइथन आइडेंटिफायर्स नो लेंथ लिमिट फॉर पाइथन आइडेंटिफायर्स बट नॉट रिकमेंडेड टू टेक टू लेंथी आइडेंटिफायर्स राइट नेक्स्ट रिजर्वड वर्ड्स और कीवर्ड्स आर देयर we can't use uh, keywords or reserved words as identifiers because these are associated with some meaning or functionality so while defining python identifier these are rules better to keep in your mind clear for all of you right up to this sir so just to observe which of the following are valid python identifiers so with our previous knowledge can you please answer Which are valid Python identifiers, right? So, what is the first one? Cash. Is it valid or not? Yes. It contains only our yellow alphabet symbols only. No problem at all. Acceptable. Can you please see a dollar H? Immediately error we are going to get syntax error. What is the reason? Dollar symbol is not allowed. Not allowed in identifier, right? So, total one two three valid. But the one, two, three total, it is invalid. What the reason? What the reason? Identifier can't start with the digit. Okay. Next, all at the right hands are invalid because at the right symbol is not allowed in Python identifier. Java to share. What is the problem? Yes, perfectly valid because it contain alphabet symbols and the digits only valid, right? Sir, if not allowed because it is a reserved word. Are you getting? If is not allowed. Next, underscore Durga, underscore underscore Python perfectly valid, no issue at all, sir. Okay, like uh, it's very clear what rules we have to follow to define identifiers, right? Sir, now. i want to cover one very very important point take special care about this one sir i have one variable is there sir i have one variable is there x i have underscore x is there okay i have underscore underscore x is there next i have underscore underscore x underscore underscore 100% pakka all are valid python identifiers only now do you have any difference between these things can you please spell out without underscore with underscore with the two underscores two underscores at the beginning two underscore at the last do you have any specific conventions are there because of these things okay remember in the oops concept we require to discuss in detail but anyway up to that just aware okay Your x means normal variable, normal, normal variable, just like ABC value. Underscore x. If any variable starts with the underscore symbol, this variable is considered as protected variable. Are you getting what is this variable, sir? This variable is considered as what? Protected variable. If any variable starts with the underscore symbol, it is a protected variable. Next, ah, uh, if any variable starts with the two underscore symbols, two underscore symbol, that variable is called private variable. Are you getting that variable is called one private private variable? Too much private. It is a strictly private, sir. Like uh, next, ah, uh, starts with the two underscore symbols and the ends with the two underscore symbol. This is called a uh, magic variable. Are you getting this variable is called one magic magic variable, right? So language level it has a some meaning or functionality. Language level variables uh, identifier can starts with the two underscore symbols and ends with the two underscore symbol. Like uh, do you know like uh, underscore underscore yard underscore underscore. This is the magic method. Language level language predefined magic method. This sir underscore underscore. Name underscore underscore language level predefined variable this okay like so just aware if the variable starts with underscore symbol protected 
If the variable starts with two underscore symbols private, if the variable starts with two underscore symbols and ends with two underscore symbol, okay, this is such a type of identifiers are long way specific predefined identifier, which are also known as magic variables, right? Of course, in the next sessions, we will talk about the, these things in detail. Remember, just aware there is some difference there with the underscore symbols, right? Clear for all of you, right? What is identifier? A name in Python program is called identifier. What rules are there to define Python identifiers? Next, uh, sir, if a variable starts with underscore, starts with two underscore, ends with two underscore, what will happen? Is there any speciality? Is there? Like, uh, these are the various things you should be aware about identifiers concept. Clear? Sir, in the last videos, we covered very clearly about identifiers concept. Sir, now the next thing what I have to discuss, reserved words or keywords. Sometimes we may use the word keywords, reserved words or keywords, right? Now, do you know, if you observe your school days, golden days in our life we never having any worries in our life those days are school days right do you know no one is going to ask when you will get the job no one will ask when you will get marriage okay no such a type of commitments right okay but these days everywhere everyone is going to question when you will get the job when you will get the marriage and so on right okay well if you remember the school days first first in the in the school what things you learn have you remembered right Huh? Alphabet symbols, A, B, C, D, like uh, alphabet symbols we learn. Next, after completing alphabet symbols, what we learn the next? Have you remembered? Words, A for, huh? <laughs> A for apple, B for banana, uh, C for, why? <laughs> C for cat, like uh, some words we, we covered, right? We, we learned in the school, do you know? Like, uh, so these words, what we learn in English, these words are called reserved words related to English. Remember this one, sir. In any language, it may be general speaking language like English or programming language like Python or Java. In any language, there are some words are reserved to represent some meaning or functionality. Such a type of words are called reserved words. Sir, if you consider English language. Okay, English. In the English language, apple, okay, apple, this word is reserved to represent one type of fruit. Are you getting? Next, uh, banana, this word is also reserved to represent one type of fruit only, right? Sir, cat, this word is reserved to represent one type of animal, animal, cat, cat like. Sir, you know, like, uh, there are multiple number of reserved words are there, sir. In English, how many reserved words are there? Huh? How many are there? Crores. Do you know if you observe Oxford Dictionary, this much a size of dictionary you can see. So there are crore, crores of reserved words are there in English. That's why learning English is a too much dangerous language, right? Okay, like. But if you consider programming languages like Python, do you know Python? Next is Java. Java, if you want Java also. Sir, here also there are some words are reserved. To represent some meaning or functionality, reserved words are there. In Java, how many reserved words are there, sir? 53 reserved words are there. Oh, when compared with the English language, learning Java is the very easy. Just how many reserved words are there? 53 reserved words are there. Small, chota programming language, right? But if you consider our Python, Python contain just the 33 reserved words only. Are you getting how many reserved words? 33 reserved words only. If you understand yeah, these 33 reserved words, you will become Python expert. Remember this one. So that's why when compared with Java, when compared with English, Python is very small, chota programming language. We can learn very easily, right? Okay? Sir, so now I will list out all 33 reserved words which are available in Python. Okay, first you have to tell what is a reserved word. What is the reserved word? The words which are reserved to represent some meaning or functionality. Such type of words are called reserved words. Remember that. 
Sir, let me list out all 33 reserve, reserved words in Python. Have you looked once? Sir, these are 33. If you want, you can count uh, 33. You, you can see, sir. Sir, first, true, false, none. Are you getting just uh, these are true, false, none, none like. Next, and, are, not, is operators like. Next, if, elif, else. If, elif, else. Okay. Else, if, elif, else. Okay. Like if, else related. Next, while, for, break, continue, return in yield. Yield, yield, yield is a keyword in Python. Yield. Next, try. Except finally, sir, the people who are coming from Java, try catch finally. Instead of catch, here we have to use except. Except finally, rise assert. Rise assert. Okay, import from as class def pass global non local lambda del with. Okay, like. Uh, Total, how many how many reserved words are there? How many keywords are there? Thirty-three keywords are there. Okay, in Python. Remember, these are the this is the list, sir. Sir, the first question. If you are going to ask, sir, what is the purpose of yield? What is the purpose of global? Or what is lambda? Or what is the pass? Can you please explain that? Like, I will give left and right because so discussing Python, learning Python language itself is learning all these things. At last, uh, you will get much clarity about these. Don't try to, sir. Don't try to understand what the meaning of all these things. Okay, we have to spend some time to get the meaning functionality of each and everything. But general doubts you may have, sir. So first, uh, here have you have you observed, right? Sir, all these 33 keywords in Python contain only alphabet symbols. Are you getting? You never going to see any underscore symbol. You never going to see any digits. So all 33 contains only alphabet symbols. Contains only alphabet alphabet symbols. Okay, like next uh, one more speciality is there in these alphabet symbols also. Everywhere you are seeing lowercase alphabet symbols only, but only three, sir, uppercase you are, you, you are going to see. Sir, true, false, none. Have you observed, right? What is the first letter? T uppercase, F uppercase, none uppercase, N, N uppercase, right? The only, except these three, all the remaining contain only lowercase alphabet symbols only. Remember that, sir. True, false, none. Compulsory T should be uppercase. F should be uppercase. By mistake, small t, small f you are using, Python will give left and right. Observe, I will show, sir. So, second point, except the following, except the following three, all contains, all, all contains, only lowercase alphabet symbols. All contains only lowercase alphabet symbols. Except, uh, sir, the following three. All contains only lowercase alphabet symbol. Which three, sir? True, true. Next, uh, false. Next, uh, none, none. So, for Boolean values, true and uh, false. Uh, Compulsory should be in uppercase. T upper, F upper, and then N uppercase, right? Sir, I have a look once by mistake. If I'm trying to take like this, okay? Here I'm taking, sir, A is equal to true I'm taking, sir. Sir, am I using small true or capital true? Small T or capital T? Small T I'm using. What will happen, sir? Immediately, name error, name true is not defined. Sir, I'm unable to see name true, like we are going to get the problem. A is equal to capital true I'm taking, sir. Capital T, T is the capital. Perfect, it is going to be accepted. What is the value, sir? True itself is the answer we are going to get. Okay, please make sure if you are using small a, immediately error, small t, immediately you are going to get error. So, for Boolean values, compulsory you require to take care. Capital T in the true, capital F in the false, and none means in n, n should be capital. What the meaning, we will discuss in detail, right? Sir, next thing, very important point, observe, observe a bit carefully, sir. Do you know, by seeing these things, sir, you may have some doubt. Sir, if, uh, elif, 
ఎల్స్ యూ డిస్కస్ ఇట్ రైట్ బట్ వాట్ అబౌట్ స్విచ్ స్టేట్మెంట్ సార్ ఇన్ సి లాంగ్వేజ్ ఐ సార్ స్విచ్ స్టేట్మెంట్ ఇన్ జావా లాంగ్వేజ్ ఐ హ్యావ్ స్విచ్ స్టేట్మెంట్ సార్ వెరీ ద స్విచ్ స్టేట్మెంట్ ప్లీజ్ మేక్ షూర్ స్విచ్ స్విచ్ కాన్సెప్ట్ ఈజ్ అ నాట్ దేర్ ఇన్ ద పైతాన్ స్విచ్ స్విచ్ వేరియబుల్స్ కాన్సెప్ట్ నాట్ దేర్ ఇన్ ద పైతాన్ ఓకే రిమెంబర్ నెక్స్ట్ సిమిలర్లీ సార్ ఐ హ్యావ్ వైల్ లూప్ ఈజ్ దేర్ ఫర్ లూప్ ఈజ్ దేర్ బట్ వీ మిస్ వన్ మోర్ లూప్ డూ వైల్ డూ వైల్ సో do while such type of looping concept is not there in python okay do while there is no such type of concept okay well sir these concepts are not applicable in python switch statement is not there do while this concept is also not there sir next uh, one more point sir i saw somewhere in java int float boolean char these are reserved words but here we are not having any such type of reserved words like the reason for that is in python sir here i am taking a is equal to 10 that's all am i required to declare type explicitly like int type no because python is what dynamically typed programming language we are not required to declare the type explicitly based on value automatically type will be considered so being programmer you never going to use uh, type explicitly right that's why int uh, float uh, boolean such type of reserved words or keywords are not uh, required remember int uh, float uh, complex uh, such type of keywords are not required in python so what are various reserved words are there or keywords are there next uh, what are the rules right contain only alphabet symbols except the first three all the remaining contain lower case alphabet symbols only next uh, switch statement do while that concepts are not there next uh, int float complex like uh, data types are not uh, reserved words in python everyone can able to understand sir i want to know can you please show practically these are the only available reserved words i want i want to see sir can you please show practically like yes there is a way sir i will show programmatically right what is the way yes sir here observe that import import keyword import keyword there is one module is there named with the keyword keyword module is there what is the module we will discuss sir keyword dot dot kw list keyword list if you can ask keyword module kw list it is going to list down all 33 reserved words or keywords present inside python shall we do shall we check this one sir have a look once okay i'm taking import import uh, can you please spell out sir i forgot import keyword import keyword okay like next uh, keyword dot uh, kw list kw list keyword list kw list now have a look once sir these are the keywords what what we have in in python sir these are these are various various keywords whatever they are in in python let me copy paste these things right okay observe a bit a bit very carefully sir here like like we have now here if you want you can you can you can you can count these things also right sir false none true and yes assert break class continue def del elif else except finally for from global if import in is lambda non local not r pass rise return try while with yield okay here alphabetical order it is displayed according to alphabetical order but anyway total if you want you can count 33 reserved words or keywords you can get that's all sir these are various important things related to keywords or reserved words right now i will explain data types concept in the next video clear for all of you right sir now the next topic what i have to explain python data types concept sir can you spell out what is data type the name itself indicates the type of data what we are using are you getting it say data type represents what the type of data stored inside a variable are represented in our program suppose i am taking tensor 
this ten is what type it is intertype assume that it is intertype integral data type okay not having any decimal point next 10.5 is what type something like float type float float type sir true we are considering true is what type itself is what boolean type like so the data types represent the type of data what we are using in our program clear for all of you what is data type now the next point very very important point for the entire room take a bit special care sir in c language or java or c++ how to declare a variable just observe if i can take in java sir if you don't know java also don't worry just listen int a is equal to 10 i'm taking sir sir i'm declaring a variable a a variable a sir with what value 10 this a can you please spell out what is the type anyone can you please tell what is the type int type regarding int type i'm declaring it is int type sir so if i can take float f is equal to 10.5 f okay like we have to declare so it may be c language or c++ or java usually we can declare variables okay in this style sir in python how you can declare this one very simple a is equal to 10 sir a is equal to 10 that's all we are not uh, required to declare the type explicitly remember that okay in python we are not required to declare the type explicitly just uh, assign the value so based on your provided value the type will be considered automatically by the python virtual machine now a is what type sir of course it is a uh, int type int type sir where is the proof i will show programmatically don't don't worry sir so in python we are not required to declare the type explicitly based on your provided value automatically type will be considered such a type of programming languages are called dynamically typed programming language are getting what is this one sir dynamically dynamically typed programming language but in c language or java or c++ compulsory we have to declare the type explicitly that's why these languages are called statically typed languages right are you getting these languages are called what statically typed languages but python itself is a dynamically typed programming language is it clear for all of you so a is equal to 10 now i'm taking type of a sir i want to know this a is what type i want to know this a is what type sir this a is what type if you want to know type function is there which is provided by python by using that automatically we can get what is the type of this variable right of course it is the int type okay well sir i'm taking b is equal to true sir b is equal to true can you please tell b is what type respond b is what type bool type boolean type are you getting we are not required to specify type explicitly the type will be considered automatically by the python virtual machine now if you can ask a type of b now it is what types are bool type remember this one sir so the most valuable important question for the entire room what is the meaning of dynamically typed programming language so in python while declaring variables we are not required to specify type explicitly based on your provided value type will be considered automatically such a type of languages are called dynamically typed programming languages right best example python even javascript also do you know javascript also we are not required to specify the type explicitly automatically based on the value the type will be considered sir sir where is the proof for that okay just uh, observe a bit very carefully sir i'm taking here let me open my python editor sir okay python console p python console 
now a is equal to 10 i am taking k is equal to 10 sir can you please observe type of a a is equal to 10 what is the type of a sir can you please observe that what is the type of a sir inter type are you getting type of a is inter type b is equal to 10.5 10.5 can you please spell out what is the type of b yes what is the type of b sir float type remember that next uh, sir c is equal to true i am taking place replace assume that sir sir next uh, dollar value dollar value in rupees assume 70.12 assume that 70 rupees 1 to 1 to paisa 12 paisa like sir how you can represent these values the numbers with the decimal point these numbers are by default considered as floating point values are you getting don't feel in our program you are always going to represent only whole numbers integral numbers no sometimes we may require to provide we may require to do this type of values also how you can do that okay to represent these floating point values these floating floating point values we have which data types are float the data type we have to use remember this one sir okay sir now i'm taking f is equal to f is equal to sir 112.456 like this i'm taking sir can you please spell out what is the type of f if i print the type of f now i will get what the float observe this is what types are it is the float type like this right so what is the floating point number a number with the decimal point is called floating point number so so to represent the floating point numbers which data type we have in python is the float data type sir okay have a look once sir observe carefully here if you if you if you are seeing sir f is equal to 1.234 like this i'm taking sir what is the type of f what is the what the type of f if i can ask a type of f is what type sir float type just observe 1.234 float type sir to represent floating point values we require to go for what float type okay well sir here there is one very very important point is there take a bit special care about this one sir sir do you know in the integral types in the last video we covered very clearly in the integral types suppose i have a number is there sir 1 2 3 is there by default it's the decimal similarly if i can take 0 b 1 1 1 1 it is a binary number binary 0 o 1 2 3 octal number 0 x 1 2 3 exact is one number sir all these things are integral values remember this one all these things are what integral values right same way i want to take like this just observe carefully sir about this one f is equal to sir 1.234 okay one style f is equal to f is equal to 0 b 1.1011 i am taking sir next f is equal to 0 o 0 small o sir like 123.456 i am taking sir f is equal to 0 x 123.57 something like this i give can you please observe this is the decimal float value hmm. this is the decimal float value can you please tell what about this one <coughs> respond what is the word about this one float value float value represented in binary form next up float value represented in octal form float value represented in hexadecimal form i hope everyone can able to understand right so respond <laughs> are everyone can able to understand right ah, remember if you are going to feel like this i will give left and right the reason for that is floating point values we can represent only in decimal form are you getting floating point values we can represent only in decimal form binary octal hexadecimal such a type of conventions are not allowed not allowed for the float values these representations are applicable only for integral types but not for floating point types in all these cases we are going to get syntax error okay error by default we are going to get sir very very important point integral values you can represent four ways either decimal binary octal hexadecimal 
but a floating point values you can represent you should represent only in the decimal form okay binary octal hexadecimal such type of conventions are not uh, applicable everyone can aware right sir let me show this one have a look once uh, sir suppose i'm taking f is equal to f f is equal to 1.234 perfect no problem at all it is the decimal value sir it itself is the decimal value f is equal to 0b 0b 1.1011 i'm taking 0b 1.1011 immediately immediately python virtual machine is going to give left and right hey durga 0b 0b means binary but 1.1011 float in binary no such type of thing what it means like uh, python virtual machine will give left and right observe carefully sir here if i execute this one syntax error invalid syntax are getting syntax error invalid syntax similarly f is equal to 0 if I can take again invalid syntax. Are getting again invalid syntax. F is equal to 0x 123.45. Something like this, right? Again itself is invalid. Syntax error we are going to get. So the important conclusion what you people should be aware floating point values you should represent only in decimal form binary octal hexadecimal conventions are not allowed clear any doubt about this point okay well next uh, for floating point values there is another another way another another representation is there sir what is that representation is take a bit special care sir if we if we can take f is equal to 1.2 e3 e3 this type of representation is called exponential form are you getting this type of representation is called exponential form or scientific notation exponential form or scientific notation sir remember this one so e3 e3 sir instead of small e you can take capital e also no problem at all if i print a f value what is the output we are going to get sir very simple 1.2 e3 means 10 power 3 1.2 into 10 power 3 1.2 into 1000 1000 so its value 1200.0 this is the output we are going to get sir remember this this type of representation is called what scientific representation scientific notation or otherwise exponential form but this applicable only for what floating point values remember have a look once sir sir i am taking f is equal to f f is equal to 1.2 e3 you can take small e or capital e either you can take small g or capital e happily you know itself is acceptable what about its value sir 1200.0 sir let me take 1.2 e3 capital e3 i'm taking sir if i can take f then automatically 12 1200.0 .12 like this we are going to get this type of representation is called what scientific notation so even floating point lateral float values you can represent scientific notation also no problem at all okay well so now what is the advantage of this representation right the biggest advantage is even big values also within the lesser space you can represent sir bigger values within the lesser space you can represent suppose i have a number is there assume the 12 one after 12 there are 10 zeros are there sir okay 10 zeros are there okay like uh, 10 zeros 15 zeros are there sir 15 zeros are there wow how bigger value this one point zero is there sir assume this is the point zero is there after 12 15 zeros are there point zero sir once point zero is there it is the float value it is the float value right now what is the i can represent in scientific notation very easily sir very simple 1.2 e how many zeros are there 15 1.2 2 also i moved after this small point that's why 1.2 e 16 so this is a big 
thicker value also we can represent 1.2 e16 that is the advantage of this scientific notation or exponential form everyone can aware within the lesser space lesser space you can represent big values also that thing is applicable sir sir even in our calculators if the value is the too much lengthy but the display size is very small in that small space how you can represent bigger values very simple sir we require to go for which one exponential representation observe our normal calculator have a look once sir just a basic idea sake observe that this is the this is the normal normal calculator what we have sir here i am taking 25000 25000 into 25000 i am taking okay like now have you observed right some 625 followed by some six zeros like we have okay well sir now now let me take uh, sir into again again that then automatically do you know it is a bigger value it is a bigger value sir what happened what happened this bigger value in this uh, small space uh, how it is represented sir 3.90 e plus 17 means uh, into 10 power 17 are you getting this uh, type of representation is called what exponential form it is applicable for what a uh, floating point uh, data types okay well sir so up to this any down float uh, type it is a uh, very clear sir let me conclude if you want to represent floating point values then we require to go for what float data type float values compulsory having decimal point a number with the decimal point is called float number floating point values you should represent only in decimal form binary octal hexadecimal such a type of things are not allowed floating point values we can also represent in exponential form or scientific notation what the advantage of this one is within the lesser space you can represent bigger values that is the advantage sir of this floating point i mean exponential representation clear for you sir in the last videos we covered int and the flow data type right now i want to explain the python specific special data type complex data type what is that sir can you please spell out complex complex data type don't feel complex means very difficult nothing okay it is one type of number systems right in your mathematics somewhere in your school days integral calculus complex complex algebra somewhere you may heard about that so such a type of data type is called complex data type sir so what is the speciality why python having this data type sir if you want to develop scientific applications mathematics based application electrical engineering applications this complex data type is very very helpful but c language not having c plus plus not having java not having only python has this type right that's why it's the speciality special data type present inside python what is the data types are complex data type sir now what is the syntax how you can represent complex number okay observe carefully sir a plus b j this is the syntax right a plus b j a complex number is of what form how you can represent sir a plus b j sir this a is called real part this a is called real real part under this b is called imaginary part are you getting what is this b sir imaginary imaginary part next uh, what is this j j value is j square j square is equal to minus one are you getting j square is equal to minus one j is equal to square root of minus one remember that this type of representation is called complex number right so what is the j j square its value is minus one j is equal to square root of minus one now you may have the small doubt sir sir is it compulsory j in my mathematics somewhere i i symbol i used remember i symbol i used is it compulsory j i have to use right okay mandatory it should be j only by mistake if you are using any other symbol like i immediately syntax here remember compulsory j sir can i use uppercase uppercase j or lower case j no problem any case you can use but the symbol should be j only okay like sir now let me take x is equal to 
10 plus 20 J. I am taking, sir. Yes, it is a complex number. Let me print, uh, let me, let me print uh, type of X. Can you spell out huh? what it is a type? Obviously, what is the types are? Complex type. The type itself is complex, complex type, sir. Now, have a look once. Here, I am taking X is equal to, X is equal to 10 plus 20 J. J. Either small J you can take or capital J you can take. No problem at all, sir. Sir, 10. Now, let me print type of X. Regarding type of X, like this. Sir, can you please spell out what is this type, sir? It is a complex, complex type, sir. X equal to 10 plus 20 J. What the type of X itself is, sir, class complex. Okay, like we can, we can take, sir. Sir, what is the X value? What is the X value? 10 plus 20 J, like this, right? Sir, can I use capital J? Okay, X is equal to 10 plus 20 capital J I am taking, sir. Yes, acceptable. What about its value, sir? 10 plus 20 J. Of course, it is printing always in lower case. But if you want, you can use capital J also, no problem. Now, X is equal to 10 plus 20 I I am taking. Please confirm. Is it valid or invalid? <laughs> 10 plus 20 I. Immediately syntax error because Python virtual machine unable to understand what is the meaning of this one. Are you getting right now? Have a look once. What is that error? Syntax error. Invalid syntax like this we are going to get. Now, I hope it's very clear what is complex number? What is the syntax of complex number? Next and after that, how you can represent complex number like this, right? Sir, next, uh, this A is called what form? Respond. What is this A? A is called what? Real part. What is this B? B is called what? Imaginary part. Suppose, assume that I have one complex number X is there, sir. X is 10 plus 20 J. I want to know what is the real part. I want to know what is the real, real part. Very simple. Print of X dot real. If you want to know real part of complex number, then dot real, real is a variable, x dot real, now you are going to get 10.0. Remember, of course, uh, it's always going to provide in the form of floating point value 10.0. Similarly, I want to know x dot imaginary number. Hey, what is the imaginary, imaginary value, sir? I am a G. Remember that. So, X dot real. What is the second one, sir? X dot? I am a G. Imaginary number. Now, what about its value, sir? 20.0. Are you getting X dot imaginary number? What about its value? 20.0, something like. So, how you can find the real value? How you can find imaginary value? Sir, real and, uh, and I am a G. These are the predefined variables are there which are applicable for every complex number. Okay, have a look once. Sir, now I am taking here, let me take, let me, let me take, sir. X is equal to, X is equal to 10 plus 20 J I am taking. Okay, well. Sir, X dot real. What are the values, sir? X dot real. What are the answer? 10.0. X da I am A G. Remember, don't tell imaginary. I am A G image. Okay, like uh, 20.0 we are going to get. That's all. So, if you have complex number, how you can find the real part? How you can find the imaginary part? Clear, right? Okay, well. Next, uh, the next important conclusion, sir. Sir, the first part is called, which one? Please confirm. The first part is called what? Real part. Second part is called what? Imaginary part. Sir, in real and imaginary parts, if you want, you can take int values. If you want, you can take float values. No problem at all. Int values you can take. Float values also you can take. So, something like x is equal to 10 plus 20 j valid, sir. Acceptable. x is equal to 10.520 j acceptable sir now in real part i am taking float value sir next x is equal to 10.5 20.6 j acceptable okay so in real and imaginary part happily we can take either int values or float values no problem at all both are acceptable right but here one small twist is there what is that which is this real part this real part you can represent either in decimal 
decimal, binary, octal, hexadecimal. No problem, sir. This are real part. If the real part I am taking int value, that int value you can represent either in decimal form or binary form, octal form or hexadecimal form. But imaginary part compulsory you should specify only in decimal form, sir. By mistake, binary form if you are using or octal form if you are using, immediately error we are going to get. Observe carefully here x is equal to x is equal to 0b 0b 1 1 1 1 plus 1 1 1 1 means 15 sir 15 plus 20 j I am taking is it acceptable or not acceptable because in the real part you can take binary octal hexadecimal acceptable right but if I can take x is equal to 15 plus plus 0b 1 1 1 1 j I am taking immediately immediately error we are going to get sir because imaginary part compulsory the value we have to specify only in only in decimal form but the real part you can specify either in decimal or octal or hexadecimal acceptable observe this important conclusion have a look once sir have a look my requirement is now observe this x is equal to x is equal to here I am taking here just observe 10.5 plus 20.6 j so real values I mean both real both real and imaginary part can be either float values or can be either int values no problem at all acceptable sir now if I print 10.5 uh, plus 20.6 j acceptable x is equal to 0 b 1111 plus 20 j I am taking x is equal to 0 b 1111 plus 20 j I am taking sir sir now real part if you want you can represent either binary octal hexadecimal but imaginary part should be only in the decimal form correct right have a look once sir here observe it is it is acceptable what is the x value sir 0 b 1111 means 15 plus 20 j acceptable now I'm taking x is equal to 15 plus 0 b 1111 j I'm taking immediately error we are going to get because imaginary part we should not use uh, sir any other form except decimal remember that compulsory we have to use only decimal form so immediately we are getting what uh, syntax error invalid syntax any doubt about this one i hope everyone in the position to understand clearly right what is the meaning of sir like uh, how you can represent okay like sir next uh, one more point sir Assume that I have two imaginary numbers are there. Something like x is equal to 10 plus 20 j, y is equal to sub 20 plus 30 j is there, sir. Two imaginary numbers are there. No, I mean two complex numbers are there. Now my requirement is, can I perform arithmetic operations between these complex numbers or not? Yes, we can perform, no problem at all. So if you want, uh, you can ask x plus y. If you want, uh, you can ask x into y. If you want, you can ask x by y. No problem, x minus y. All those things are perfectly acceptable. Even we can perform arithmetic operations between, between two complex numbers also. Okay, have a look once, sir. Suppose I'm taking x is equal to 10 plus 20 j. Next, y is equal to 20 plus 30 j is there, sir. 30 j is there now x plus y what is the value of x plus y 30 plus 50 j okay like this we are getting x into y x into y minus 400 plus 700 j x by y okay x by y some value some value we are going to get 0 0.6 and plus 0 0.07 something like we are going to get so what about the internal values how these operations are going to work we are not required to worry sir just we can perform mathematical operations sir for complex numbers also just aware this one okay this is about basic introduction about complex data type but anyway it is not that much 
frequently used data type in our python okay very specific scientific applications mathematics applications next electrical engineering applications there this complex data type is going to play the role that's why it is highly recommended to discuss as less as possible about this complex number systems right any doubt are you in the position to understand what is complex number where you can use complex number what is the syntax next which is called real part which is called imaginary part in real and imaginary can i take int values or not float values or not next can i perform arithmetic operations or not next can i use any base or only decimal for real part you can use any base but imaginary part only decimal form binary octal hexadecimal not allowed that's all friends clear right sir up to this we covered about inter data type float and then complex the next easy data type what we have to discuss is bool bool data type sir bool bool means what boolean data type okay i want to represent logical values sir true false yes no is this list is empty or not so is the is is employee salary is zero or not or is it 10000 or not something like i want to check yes or no yes or no true or false to represent the logical values then we require to go for what bool data type remember this next uh, do you know the only allowed values for boolean data type are true and the false are you getting true true and the false only allowed values right best example here also there is a small twist is there can you please tell is it a allowed value for boolean data type or not please confirm true and false these are these are allowed values for a boolean data type or not respond man why you are silent huh is it allowed or not allowed true or false is it allowed values for the boolean data type or not yes the people who are telling yes yes i will give left and right these are allowed values for boolean data type in java in java in other languages but not in python remember this one in python compulsory sir it should be true sir t should be capital remember this one next f should be capital okay these are only allowed values for the boolean data type in python sir t should be upper case f should be upper case by mistake small true small false immediately error we are going to get what is this true name error i'm not finding this name like it's going to raise the error sir just observe carefully right sir now sir here b is equal to true i'm taking yes acceptable acceptable because capital acceptable now what is the type of b now what is the type you are going to get sir boolean okay like just have a look once sir sir now i'm taking b is equal to small true i'm taking <laughs> b is equal to small true i'm taking can you please tell is it valid or invalid invalid small t is not allowed compulsory in python true means capital t false means capital f okay have a look once what is that error i'm getting name error name true is not defined my python virtual machine unable to identify this name true name true is not defined like that we are going to get the error sir okay well sir now b is equal to capital true i'm taking yes perfectly valid what is the type of b sir what the type type of b it's always what type sir bool type so terminology is the very clear for you people right okay well sir now i have a is equal to 10 is there b is equal to 20 is there now sir c is equal to a greater than p so can you please check is a greater than b or not is a greater than b or not 10 greater than 20 or not no that's why what is the output we are going to get what is the value stored inside c false let me print let me print c value let me print a c value okay what is the answer we are going to get sir false let me print a type of c type of c it is the boolean type so the value the false it is what types are boolean type any doubt 
Are you in the position to understand, right? So just observe carefully, right? Now, A is equal to 10, I'm taking. B is equal to 20, I'm taking. C is equal to A greater than B. A greater than B. Now, sir, let me print the value of C, sir. What is the value of C? False. F should be capital, of course. Now, what is the, what is the type? Type of C, sir. What is the type of C? If I can take a class bool. The type itself is nothing but what type, sir? Bool type. Now, it's a, it's a very, very clear for you people, right? Okay? Now, I have one small doubt, sir. About this Boolean data type, one small doubt is there. Listen carefully, right? If I can ask, can you please print, print, okay, true, true, plus or true, <laughs> what the answer, true, plus or true, what the answer, next, print a uh, true minus uh, false, <laughs> what the answer, Yo, respond, arithmetic operations are performing between two boolean values, True plus or true? True minus false. What answer we are going to get now? Hmm? Why you are silent? What is the answer we are going to get now? True plus or true? True minus false. So very simple, sir. Internally, this true and false are represented as true, true means one, false means zero, sir. Internally, True and false represented as yes, 1, 0. That's why if you are performing arithmetic operations with the Boolean values, now the corresponding int values will come in the picture. Remember this one. Now, true plus a true. So, 1 plus a 1, its value is the 2, sir. 1 plus 1, the value is the true. Next, uh, 1 minus uh, false means 0. 1 minus 0 means uh, the value is 1. Are you getting 1 minus 0? The value itself is what? 1. Remember this one. I hope not required to keep any explanation. Remember very important point. True internally represented as 1. False internally represented as 0. So in our mathematics, in our in the, in the Python, in mathematical operations, if you are using Boolean values, now these integral values will come in the picture. Are you getting right? Have a look. Next, print a true, true into into false true into false one into zero its value is always what zero only let me check this one sir here i'm taking here i'm taking print of print of true plus a true print of true plus a true what is the answer two itself is the answer print of true True minus false. What about its value? 1. Because 1 minus 0, its value is the 1, sir. Print of true, true into, into false. I am taking. Print of true into false. What is the answer, sir? 0. Like this, right? Sir, in our next sessions also, several times we are going to use this point. Remember, internally, true represented as 1, sir, false represented as 0. Clear for all of you, right? These are various important things you should aware about Boolean type. Sir, what are allowed values? Next to represent logical values, we are going for Boolean data type. The allowed values are true and false. Compulsory should be capital and F should be false. I mean, F should be capital. Next, internally, true and false represented as 1 and 0. In the mathematical operations, so their integral values 1 and 0 will come in the picture. Beyond that, nothing, sir. Slowly, while discussing operators, I will add extra masala about these things, sir. Just aware. Sir, up to this, we covered four data types, sir. One is int, float, complex, bool. Now, the next data type, the most commonly used data type in Python, sir, not only in Python, in any programming language, string data type. Are you getting what is that, sir? STR, STR itself is the string data type. So, first one small point you should aware. Almost uh, this string data type we are going to discuss around three to four hours uh, as a separate topic in the next uh, next videos, right? But here the basic introduction about the string I want to discuss. Of course, as a separate topic, we are going to discuss this. Don't worry, sir. Just uh, let me go for plain just a touch taste of string concept I want to introduce, like. 
sir now what is string can you please spell out what is the what is the string sir string itself is any sequence of characters any sequence of characters itself is treated as a string okay assume durga is there sir it is a sequence of characters a sequence a sequence of characters itself is a string in python how you can represent a string so can i use a single quotes or double quotes anyone can you please tell the people who are coming from java background sir we should use double quotes only sir we should we should use double quotes only because multiple characters are there okay can i use a single quotes or double quotes <laughs> respond can i use single quotes or double quotes okay take very special care we can use either single quotes or double quotes no problem at all even triple quotes also that part we are going to discuss next so any sequence of characters within single quotes or within double quotes is considered as a string sir remember that now here i am taking yes is equal to durga like this i am taking sir yes now print type of yes print type of yes obviously what is the answer sir yes t r type okay sir next yes is equal to okay i am taking durga yes is equal to within here just the my target is within double quotes of durga i am taking within double quotes of durga i am taking print of type of yes print a type of yes okay obviously yes the r type we are going to get so any sequence of characters within single quotes or double quotes is considered yes string remember that have a look once observe very carefully about this one sir here i am taking yes is equal to yes yes is equal to durga durga like this i am taking sir print a what is the type of yes what the what the type type of yes like this i am taking sir this is i saved this one yeah test.py you are getting this file at the test.py print of type of yes sir. now py test.py like this right sir what is the what is the output sir it is the str type only whether we are using single quotes or double quotes it is always treated yes it's always it's always treated yes okay str type only no problem at all itself is the str sir now i have one small doubt what's my doubt is which one is the recommended single quotes are recommended or double quotes are recommended sir based on your comfort anything you can use but uh, double quotes uh, a bit uh, readability is not that my single quotes very plain very simple that's why recommended to use a single quotes if you are very comfortable with the double quotes happily you can use a sir okay well now i have one more small doubt is there take very very special care about this one sir here i'm taking s is equal to s is equal to single character within single quote single character within single quote can you please tell what is the type of yes ha ah, single character within single quote is considered as char data type have you remembered is considered as char data type character data type but make sure this rule is applicable for java but not for python in python there is no char data type are you getting the point right so in python there is no char data type even single character within single quote also sir it is treated as str only so no character data type character values also we can represent in by using string type only in python now if you want to print of type of yes <coughs> print a uh, type of yes what is the answer sir again yes the r you are going to get okay have a look once now i'm taking sir it is the single character single character within single quote are you getting single character within single quote sir can you please print uh, what is the value of yes 
what is the value of s and what is the type of s what is the value of s what is the type of s value of s is a only and what is the type of s is str are getting value of s is a and what is the type of s itself is what str okay remember that there is no char data type in python we have only str type even char values also we can represent by using str only okay well so single quote double quote any quote you can use no problem right sir what is about triple quotes remember this one sir in python there is a big speciality is there we can use a triple quote symbols also okay what is the story about this triple quotes let me explain sir one minute have a look once sir here triple quotes triple triple quotes sir triple quotes means uh, triple single quotes or triple double quotes okay like uh, you can take triple single quotes uh, sir okay open and end or we can take uh, triple double quotes triple double quotes like uh, sir you can you can consider like this okay it is also valid in python triple quotes also acceptable sir single quote double quote triple quote sir i want to take four quote symbol five quote symbol pvm is going to get left and right remember that so up to triple quotes are allowed but the where we can use a triple quotes what are various advantages are there because of these triple quotes there are three application areas are there for the triple quote symbols right sir what is the first one legend sir do you have you ever heard have you ever do you ever what is the what how you can specify multi line string literal are string literal means string constant but it's not in one line multiple lines are there something like uh, sir durga durga software durga software solutions solutions this total is a single string literal yes is equal to yes is equal to now i'm trying to take print of yes can you please confirm is it valid or not this type of literal is called multi line string literal string value distributed across multiple lines this type of thing is called multi line string literal remember right sir can you please tell string multi line string literal multi line string literal is it valid or not i use the which symbols single quote symbol single quote symbol if i use a single quote symbol or double quote symbol double quotes are single quote python virtual machine will give left and right because single quotes are double quotes applicable for one line string literals but not multi line string literals remember that sir have a look once observe very very carefully about this sir i'm trying to take s yes, is equal to durga durga software and then solutions like i'm taking sir and then print of yes okay i'm trying to take print of yes if i can take like uh, if i can print of yes if i can take like this immediately error we are going to get sir syntax error while sir while scanning string literal are single quote you open and durga completed but where is the where you close like it's always expecting the same line sir instead of single quote let me use a double quote symbol let me use double quote double quote symbols right even if i can take double quote symbol also also immediately we are going to get error so it's a very clear indication that single quotes and double quote symbol are not applicable not applicable for multi line string literal so then how you can handle very simple sir better to use respond better to use triple quotes triple single quotes or triple double quotes observe carefully right now i don't want to use sir single quote triple single quotes i'm taking triple single quotes i'm taking that's all print of yes sir what answer sir have a look once durga software solutions perfectly it's going to work no problem at all next uh, triple double quotes i want to take sir triple double quotes double quotes double quotes three times double quotes three times double quotes perfect it's it's going to work no issue at all durga software solutions like this any doubt any doubt about this one so the first important conclusion what you should aware where you can use a triple quote symbol to define to define multi line 
multi line string literals to define multi line string literals for that purpose we can use triple quote symbols right okay well next uh, what is the next thing i have to i have to discuss what is the next use of triple quotes right very very simple sir legend a bit carefully about this one suppose i have one string is there sir classes class class by durga class by durga is uh, very good very good like this i am taking sir class by durga is very good this is the string letter i have so happily you can take s is equal to like this you can you can take no problem at all print of yes yes valid sir but my requirement is this durga should come in the output within within single quotes are you getting this durga should come within single quote so if string contain single quote symbol yeah the normal character yeah the normal character then what we have to do is so we should not enclose this string within single quote by mistake if you are taking single quote what will happen this single quote this single quote completed completed this single quote this single quote completed now why durga is coming in the middle it's a, it's always a problem syntactical mistakes are so if you want to use a single quote as a normal character in your string then that string should not enclose with the single quotes okay well so how you can handle very simple sir better to take double quotes are you getting better to take double quotes acceptable perfect man don't worry acceptable so means that if you want to use a single quote yeah the symbol yeah the symbol in your string then we have to enclose that string with the double quotes observe carefully have a look once now my requirement is observe carefully sir here py s is equal to s is equal to single quote i'm taking so class class by durga class by durga is a very very good something like i'm taking sir have you observed here this total thing i'm enclosing within single quotes only total thing i'm enclosing within single quotes only right now observe syntax error invalid syntax syntax error invalid syntax like this we are getting sir now instead of single quote if i use double quotes instead of single quote if i use if i use double quotes double quotes what will happen perfect let me print the value of yes yes it is going to tell that okay durga it's going to tell that it is the it is the durga no problem durga is coming within single quotes right even here also just let me take double quotes double quotes okay class by durga is a very good something like i'm taking sir double quote now durga i'm taking within single quotes durga i'm taking within single quote acceptable now let me execute this code py test dot py py test dot py are you getting what is the output you are getting sir durga is coming within single quotes acceptable same way i want to use double quote symbol double quote symbol as a normal character in the string something like s is equal to class by durga durga is very good class by durga is very good now this durga i want to take within double quotes double quotes so if you want to use double quote as a symbol as a normal character in your string you have to enclose that string with a single quote now it is acceptable right okay if you want to use a double quote so enclose by using single quote if you want to use single quote enclose by using double quotes are you getting now we have a look sir i want to take here this durga i want to take double quotes okay durga should be within double quotes so if i can enclose this one by using double quotes only error we are going to get okay error we are getting syntax syntax error right now what i want to take is now enclose by using single quote if i enclose by using single quote happily you can use double quote at the simple only perfect sir class by durga is very good no issue at all so now the conclusion here is if you want to use double quote as a symbol 
as a normal character then we should enclose that string within single quotes if you want to use single quote as single quote as a normal character then we should enclose that string within double quotes clear right now listen carefully the next scenario in my string i want to use both the single quote and double quote as the normal character okay sir so something like my string is is so uh, classes here just observe uh, <coughs> classes by durga classes by durga durga for python for python are very good very good assume that sir this is my string this is my string but durga should come within single quote durga should come within single quote python should come within double quotes <laughs> python should come within double quotes are you are using single quote symbol double quote symbol both as a normal character in your then how you can handle this type of requirement for the triple quote symbols came in the picture are you getting right now this a total string you have to enclose in triple quotes either triple single quotes you can use triple double quotes we can use no problem at all now have a look once sir sir i am taking classes by here classes by durga classes by durga durga for python for python are very good like this i am taking sir okay well sir now in this durga should be within single quote python should be within double quotes python should be within double quotes like next here single quote uh, by mistake if you are using single quote single quote uh, if you enclose this total by using single quote immediately error we are going to get have you observed right syntax are you enclose this total by using double quotes double quotes yes now you are going to get again error okay but enclose this one by using triple quote symbol by using triple quote symbol either triple single quotes or triple double quotes 100% pakka this one is valid sir have you observed classes by durga durga is coming within single quote python is coming within double quotes like so the important conclusion what you people should aware where you can use this triple quote symbol is in your string if you want to use single quotes and double quotes as normal characters then we have to use we should enclose that string within triple quotes okay so what is the first use of triple quote to define multi line string literals what is the second use sir to use single quote and double quote as normal characters as normal characters in our string any doubt any doubt about this one okay that's all this is the second use of triple quote symbols right next one more use is also there but as of now so just aware the word there is one concept is there named with documentation string okay documentation doc string we can use to define to define doc string what is that sir can you can spell out to define doc string we can use a triple quotes but as of now just aware the word somewhere in the next classes we are going to discuss in detail sir so triple quotes a speciality in python sir which is not allowed in c c++ java ha huh? like but in python triple quote symbols are allowed where you can use a triple quote symbols right to define multi line string literals next to use a single quote and double quote as yes, normal characters in our string next to define doc string for that purpose we can use uh, sub this uh, triple quote symbols is the story is the very clear right except a doc string doc string we are going to discuss in the next uh, sessions in detail you are not required to worry friends are you getting the basic idea clear for all of you right okay that's all sir in the last video we covered what is a string how you can represent a string by using single quotes double quotes there is a special story we covered about 
ट्रिबल को सिंबल रईट क्लियर अप टू दट नेक्स्ट इंडेक्स ओके इंडेक्स सर देर इज वन स्पेशलिटी इज देर इन पैथा इंडेक्स वेरी इंपारटेंट पॉइंट सर रिजन केरफुली विच इज नाट अल्लिकबल फॉर् सी आर् सी प्लस प्लस आर् जावा हियर देर इज वन स्पेशलिटी इज देर सर एम टेकिंग एस इज ईक्वल टू दुर्गा दिस इज मई स्ट्रिंग हौ यू कैन एक्सेस characters of the string i want to access first character second character third character like how you can okay very very simple sir okay assume that d u r g a d u r g a is there durga now do you know we can access characters of the string by using index do you know right index index sir what is the सर फस्ट डू नो वट इज द फस्ट क्यार्टर इंडेक्स जीरो जीरो सर एरेस् अंड स्ट्रिंग एव्रिथिंग इज आलवे जीरो बेस इंडेक्स जीरो जीरो वन टू थ्री फोर लाइक जीरो वन टू थ्री फोर लाइक दिस नौ आम ट्रईंग टू टेक् प्रिंट आफ यफ जीरो वर्द आंसर Respond, man. What is the answer? We are going to get S of zero. Which character locating at zero index? Okay, D. D itself is the character locating at zero index. Similarly, print a yes a three. I am taking sir. Print of S of three. Can you spell out which character is locating sir? G itself is locating. Are you getting G itself? Yet the third index. Which character is there? G is there sir. ओके नौ प्रिंट आफ प्रिंट आफ यस आफ हंड्रेड एम टके हर कैटिंग यस आफ हंड्रेड एम टके फर् दिस यस वट इज द वालीड इंडेक्स जीरो टू फोर जीरो टू फोर ओनली बट हंड्रेड इंडेक्स इज नाट देर इम्मी गेट पैथा वर्चुअल मिशन विल गेल लेफ्ट अंड रईट इंडेक्स एर आर् स्ट्रिंग इंडेक्स अवट आफ रेंज लाइक वी आर् गोन टू गैंड इंडेक्स एर आर् Are getting what is the error we are going to get, sir? Index error like we are going to get. Okay, let me cross check, sir. Have a look once, sir. I am taking very very simple terminology. Yes, is equal to s is equal to Durga Durga like this, right? Now print a yes up zero yes up zero. Next up print a yes up three. I am taking, sir. Yes up three like this. I am taking. Now let me execute this code. Are you in the position? S of zero means D. S of three means G, sir. Okay. Let me cross check. D followed by G. We are getting. Sir, now I want to ask. Yes, of hundred. Yes, of hundred. Hundred, sir. Hundred index is not available. Immediately we are going to get error. What is that error, sir? Have a look once, sir. Index error. String index out of range. Index error. String index out of range. We are going to get. Okay, perfect, sir. Now take very very special care now. Observe carefully. Up to this, we know the people who are coming from Java, C, C plus plus like everyone can be up to this. Now the next discussion is the most valuable, sir. Have a look once, sir. Print of print of yes of minus one. I'm taking <laughs> yes of minus one. I'm taking. Please confirm. What answer we are going to get? Yes, half minus one. Minus one. I am taking. What is the answer? Hmm. Respond, sir. Where is the question of minus one index? Immediately we are going to get what? Index error. String index out of range. Like we are going to get minus. I mean index error, right? No, no. That is the speciality of Python. Python provide support for both the positive index and negative index. Remember this one, sir. Positive index and a negative index both are supported by Python, sir. Positive index means okay, forward direction zero starts with zero. Negative index means sir, backward direction starts with minus one, minus one, minus two, minus three, minus four, minus five. This is the backward direction. Are you getting right to left? Sir? So Python 
provide support for both the positive index and negative index no problem at all itself is acceptable okay like sir now s of minus 1 means what is the answer at minus 1 index which character is there a character is there that's why you are going to get simply yes sir is it clear for all of you right now i have one important question python provide support for both positive index and negative index yes or no yes okay but other languages can provide support only for positive index sir next positive index starts with zero from left to right go on negative index starts with minus one minus one minus two minus three minus four minus five from right to left clear for all of right let me cross check sir now yes of here let me go for yes of minus one i'm taking yes or minus 1 so last character which is the last character sir okay a itself is the last character right yes perfect a itself is the last last character now yes of minus 5 yes of minus 5 means uh, minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 minus 5 means uh, d sir d okay like uh, a d sir yes of minus 6 uh, sorry minus 1 to minus 5 only valid index uh, minus 6 is not available immediately we are going to get what index error string index out of range okay so this is about the index story python provide support for both the positive index and negative index positive index means from left to right negative index means right to left positive index starts from zero negative index starts from what minus one okay if you are trying to access string character character of the string by using out of range index then immediately we are going to get index error any doubt about this index clear for all of you right sir now i want to discuss very important special operator python specific special operator slice operator just aware what is this one sir can you please spell out slice operator okay like sir while discussing string concept next sir i told already string we are going to discuss as a separate topic separate unit there we will discuss much about slice operator almost one hour we require to spend only on the slice operator right but now you people should be aware just the basic touch array i know basic idea about slice operator that feeling you have to get for that let me explain sir first question what is slice 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 what is the meaning of slice have you ever heard about slice suppose apple is there if we cut the apple into multiple pieces each piece is called one slice okay regarding one one slice slice means what a piece a piece okay a part a part of the apple are getting a part of the mosambi is by default considered as slice one minute have a look one sir in the google <laughs> just aware in the in the google apple okay apple slice image like this i'm trying to type have you are you saying right apple okay apple slice image like this i'm i'm trying to i'm trying to type sir okay now have you have a look once what 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 response we are going to get apple slice image okay like if you consider this one if you if you observe this yes have a look once this is one slice are you getting this itself is another slice this is one slice one slice so in the apple apple so we can cut the apple into multiple slices multiple slice so each slice itself is nothing but what one piece one piece is called a slice clear right forget so this is general lay layman terminology what is the slice sir why apple you are cutting into multiple slices but what is python slice operator in the string what is the meaning of slice i have one string is there remember this i have one string is there i want to i want to get part of that string part of that string that part of the string is nothing but slice how you can get that slice by using slice operator remember suppose i have one string is there sir assume that s is equal to a b c d e f g h i j k l m n o p q 
R S T U V W X Y Z. Oh, thank God I remembered all alphabet symbols. Okay, <laughs> like uh, so that's all. This is my string. Now my requirement is, sir, I want uh, which character locating at fourth index, which character locating at fifth index. Simple, yes, of that index automatically you will get that. But now I don't want single character. I want a slice. I want one piece. Okay, like uh, sir. Now my requirement is, I want. Uh, from third index to 0 1 0 1 2 3 third index to assume that third 4 5 6 7 uh, 7 index like 3 to 7 i want sir i want uh, this piece i want uh, this piece this piece is nothing but this slice so how you can get uh, this uh, substring this part of the this uh, slice of the given string by using which operators are uh, slice operator now terminology is very clear what is the purpose of slice operator right sir now how you can use what is the syntax for slicing observe carefully right sir this is the very very important yes of yes of Begin, begin index uh, colon colon end index. Are you getting? Begin index uh, colon end index. So you have to specify from this begin to end. Can you please give the string? Can you please give the slice? Can you please give the part of the string like this? So returns, uh, returns. Uh, substring returns a substring or otherwise a slice slice return substring from from begin index to from begin index to uh, can you please spell out sir from begin index to are you respond man from begin index to are you? begin colon end colon colon is there begin colon end end uh, from begin index to <laughs> begin index to remember end minus one index are you getting begin index to end minus one index okay not the end index even you specified end here but it's always going to return begin index to end minus one okay like suppose i'm asking yes a three two nine i'm asking yes a three two nine so it returns a string it returns the string from third index to third index to n minus one n minus one means nine minus one nine minus one means eight three to eight okay all characters locating from third index to eight index that slice we are going to get that part we are going to get are you getting third third three four five six seven okay three four five three four five six seven and then eight means uh, up to i you are going to get sir let me crotch it let me crotch it third index to eighth index observe carefully yeah i'm taking sir have a look once let me close let me open let me consider a b c d e f g h i j k l m n o p q r s t u v w x y z like this i took sir print of s of 3 to 9 are you getting 3 to 9 observe the syntax of slice operator sir okay begin begin colon end it returns a substring from begin index to end minus one index this is the very very important sir this word is the very very important end minus one index so three to uh, nine minus one means three to eight okay returns 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 string from from three to eight index end minus one means eight index right so three means d sir d e f g h i up to that it has to return let me cross check sir let me cross check what is the answer we are going to get sir d e f g h i this is the syntax what you have to give here what is the meaning of slice operator right are you in the position to understand so how many arguments are there for the slice operator please respond how many arguments are there for slice operator two argument begin and then end 
next uh, sir from begin index to n minus 1 index just a basic idea only okay aware that next uh, if you are not specifying begin index begin begin index if you are not specifying begin index begin index uh, the default value for begin index is from the beginning remember this one sir the default value is a zero the default value for begin index is a zero zero from beginning of the string if you are not specifying end end index value then it will consider until end of the string remember this one if you are not specifying end index then it will consider until end of the string clear right now observe s of s of sir colon 9 i am taking s of colon 9 are you didn't specify begin index value if you are not specifying begin index value then automatically starts from zero starts from zero begin index and what zero to eight you are going to get okay zero to n minus one eight suppose s of s of three colon i am taking sir three colon are i didn't specify n index huh? if you are not specifying n index huh? until end until end of the string from 3 to end of string 3 to end of string it is going to consider are getting 3 to end of string it is going to consider sir let me cross check have a look once sir suppose i am taking yes of one minute one minute sir from the editor it is a very easy to check okay now let me go for yes is equal to like same thing yes of 3 colon 9 Okay, what is the answer? D, E, F, G, H, I. Yes, of colon 9 I am taking, sir. So, you are not specifying begin index. Huh? Default value for begin index is 0. 0, it is going to consider from, from beginning. From beginning to I. So, beginning to I, it is going to consider, sir. So, begin to N minus 1. Then, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I. Similarly, yes, of, yes, of, Okay, 3 colon, like this I am taking, 3 colon, like from third index to, third index means D to end of the string, D to end of the string, remember this one, what the answer we are going to get sir, D, E, F, F, G, H, I, like D to end of the string, it is going to consider, remember, sir now immediately you may have the doubt, okay, sir what is the default value for begin index? Respond. If you are not specifying begin index, what it is going to take? Starts from zero. If you are not specifying end index, what it is going to return? It is going to return last. Okay, well. Now my question is, I am not specifying, I am not specifying begin index and the end index. <laughs> I am not specifying begin index, end index. What will happen? Hmm? I am not specifying begin index and end index. What will happen? Very, very simple, sir. Okay, default value 0 means starts from begin. Default value is the end of the string. From begin to end, total characters is going to consider means uh, original string. Total string is going to be considered, sir. Let me cross check. Have a look once about this uh, terminology, sir. I am taking S of colon, that's all. So, I didn't specify begin index begin index and uh, end index also i didn't specify anything sir then total string by default is going to consider let me cross check friends here have a look once a b c d up to z total thing by default got considered this thing itself is nothing but slice operator behavior any doubt how many arguments are there two arguments begin and end begin index to n minus one index just that this is only taste that's all there are n number of doubts are there in your mind uh, sir there is a third argument is also there named with a step step these are things in detail we will discuss where sir in the string concept just a basic idea oh there is a there is a something is there named with the slice operator try to get idea right okay well here just one more small finishing touch i want to give for this slice operator just a basic introduction this is not complete discussion of slice operator right in string concept i will explain in detail don't worry suppose here i'm taking yes of listen very carefully <laughs> listen very carefully three 
colon 3 colon thousand I'm taking sir can you please tell what the answer we are going to get 3 colon thousand sir actually third index to 25 index only valid index and the alphabet symbols total 26 are there 25th is the last index sir now I'm talking about 3 to thousand what will happen please respond what will happen obviously thousand index is not there immediately you are going to get index error string index out of range Are <laughs> index error string index out of range ah, remember that so slice operator never going to rise index error okay slice operator never going to rise index error okay within that range whatever characters are there it is going to consider okay so from 3 to up to 25 only characters are there that's why 3 to 25 up to that whatever characters are there it is going to consider sir so d to z we are going to get everything we never going to get index error remember that have a look once if i can take s of 3 to 3 to 1000 like this i'm taking sir 3 to 1000 like what is the answer d to z d to z we are going to get even 1000 we are considering but we never going to get any index error even 1000 index is not there slice operator never going to rise the index error clear right okay well next uh, suppose if i can consider s of s of 5 colon 3 sir 5 colon 1 assume that 5 colon 1 <laughs> what will happen now uh, 5 colon 1 make sure sir here we are always going to move forward direction we are always going to move forward forward direction in forward direction after 5 index uh, after 5 3 4 5 after 5 index uh, if you move to the forward you never going to get one you never going to get one that's why from 5 if you move forward you never going to get one means that nothing there is no slice okay empty string by default you are going to get what what is the what the results are empty nothing nothing is there so this uh, slice is not possible empty empty only we are going to get so now have a look once uh, sir Yes, of yes, of five colon five colon one. I'm taking five colon one. What the answer, sir? Empty. Are you getting what the answer we are going to get? Just a empty, empty string we are going to get. Okay, that's all. So, in that slice, if the content is not there, a simple empty, even out of range also, we never going to get index error. Sir, just the up to whatever characters are there, it is going to consider. Sir, this is basic idea about the slice operator. Okay, it doesn't mean it is a complete discussion of slice operator. Minimum one hour I will spend on this slice operator while discussing string concept. There, your doubts by default will be clarified. After completing that slice operator, you never going to ask any doubt at all, I'm sure. But here you may have some doubts. Please keep these doubts with you until covering this string concept. Clear? Any doubt about this terminology? Okay? Now I hope by this time, what is the meaning of slice operator? Basic idea everyone got. Now, let me go for a small application area where we can use slice operator, right? Just observe. I'm taking yes is equal to Durga. This is my string, sir. My requirement is I want I want output yes. I want to convert this string yes D U R G A. Like this, I want to take. Are you getting? I want to consider this one as D U R G A. Like what it means is can you please uh, convert uh, first letter into uppercase and then remaining as it is you can take are getting remaining as it is you can take like this right how you can do that very very simple sir output is equal to output is equal to sir i want to get the first character how you can access first character of the string 
respond how you can access first character of the string s of 0 s of 0 is the first character i want to convert this first character to uppercase i want to convert this first character to uppercase oh small d will become capital d and then what is the remaining i have to take so the remaining from one index to from one index until end you have to take as it is you require to take as it is so plus plus okay plus operator we can use between two strings so this is the first string d capital d plus remaining how to represent remaining part <laughs> how you can represent remaining part so it is the piece it is the slice so yes of starts from one index one index to end that's why yes of one colon end end like this right okay now print of output sir print ah output i'm taking so what is the output we are going to get sir do you know our expected d capital and then durga so if you are perfect with the slice operator you can play the games like anything with the string sir pass i want the, from one index to end of the thing i want to consider as it is first character converting into uppercase let me consider let me execute this code have a look once sir my requirement is sir observe carefully here s is equal to s is equal to durga durga like this i have sir output is equal to first character s of zero convert into upper sir we require to use upper upper method some people may ask sir what this method is doing what this method is doing in the string concept i will discuss in detail yes you were converting this uh, string into upper case that's all sir next uh, plus plus okay yes of one from one index onwards remaining sir from one index onwards remaining sir have you observed yes of zero means uh, d sir upper means capital d we are getting okay plus yes of one one to end of the string one index means u onwards until end u r g a you are going to get that's all so if i print output what is the answer we are going to get sir print output what the answer we are going to get is have a look once sir p y test dot p y have you observed durga either first letter is the uppercase or not yes first letter is the uppercase okay now need not be durga sir i'm taking durga soft i'm taking durga soft yes anything sir anything the output is always first letter will be uppercase remaining r as it is it is going to consider okay like sir same way sometimes my requirement is observe very carefully sometimes my requirement is i want uh, i want uh, this style d u r g capital a i want what is the meaning of that last character i want to make as uppercase last character i want to consider as uppercase right now what we have to take is output is equal to output is equal to so from beginning to last but one character last but one character sir last but one character take very special care d u r g a is there 0 1 2 3 4 what is the range 0 1 2 3 4 okay next what is the length of this string what is the what is the length sir length length of s is equal to 5 5 sir length of s is equal to 5 sir i want i want this one up to this up to this except last character i want to consider how you can use slice operator sir s of 0 to 0 to 4 we have to take do you know 0 to 4 what is the reason for that begin to n minus 1 n minus 1 means 4 minus 1 4 minus 1 means 3 0 to 3 like we have to consider are you getting so it is going to consider return d u r g okay s of 0 4 but i don't want to hard code this 3 or 4 okay this 4 how you are getting is 0 to length of s minus 1 length of s is what 5 5 minus 1 means 4 0 to 4 0 to 4 because i want to use this approach for any string need not be durga that's why 
ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ಫಸ್ಟಕ್ಕೆ ಟೋಟಲ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರಿಂಗ್ ಎಕ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ ದ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಕ್ಯಾರೆಕ್ಟರ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಸೊ ಔಟ್ಪುಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಎಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಜೀರೋ ಟು ಲೆಂತ್ ಆಫ್ ಎಸ್ ಮೈನಸ್ ಒನ್ ಓಕೆ ಅಲ್ಲೇ ಸರ್ ಕೆನ್ ಐ ರಿಮೂವ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಜೀರೋ ಎಸ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಡಿಫಾಲ್ಟ್ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ಫಾರ್ ಬಿಗಿನ್ ಇಂಡೆಕ್ಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಜೀರೋ ಒನ್ ಇಫ್ ಯು ವಾಂಟ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ರಿಮೂವ್ ನೋ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ ಎಟ್ ಆಲ್ ಸರ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಎಕ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ ದ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಕ್ಯಾರೆಕ್ಟರ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಗೆಟಿಂಗ್ ಎವ್ರಿಥಿಂಗ್ ಎವ್ರಿಥಿಂಗ್ ಹೌ ಟು ಆಕ್ಸೆಸ್ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಕ್ಯಾರೆಕ್ಟರ್ ಆರ್ ಗೆಟಿಂಗ್ ಹೌ ಟು ಆಕ್ಸೆಸ್ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಕ್ಯಾರೆಕ್ಟರ್ ಬಾಸ್ ಪೈತಾನ್ ಪ್ರೊವೈಡ್ ಸಪೋರ್ಟ್ ಫಾರ್ ಪಾಸಿಟಿವ್ ಇಂಡೆಕ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ನೆಗೆಟಿವ್ ಇಂಡೆಕ್ಸ್ ಮೋರ್ ಫ್ಲೆಕ್ಸಿಬಿಲಿಟಿ ಟು ದ ಪ್ರೋಗ್ರಾಮರ್ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಕ್ಯಾರೆಕ್ಟರ್ ಇಫ್ ಯು ವಾಂಟ್ ಟು ಆಕ್ಸೆಸ್ ಎಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಮೈನಸ್ ಒನ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಎ ರಿಮೆಂಬರ್ ರೈಟ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ವೀಡಿಯೋಸ್ ಐ ಕವರ್ಡ್ ಎಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಮೈನಸ್ ಒನ್ ಡಾಟ್ ಸರ್ ಅಪ್ಪರ್ ಡಾಟ್ ಅಪ್ಪರ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಸೊ ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ಕನ್ಸಿಡರ್ ಟೋಟಲ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರಿಂಗ್ ಎಕ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಕ್ಯಾರೆಕ್ಟರ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದ ದೆನ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದ ದೆನ್ ವಾಟ್ ಯು ರಿಕ್ವೈರ್ ಟು ಟೇಕ್ ಸರ್ ಕನ್ ಟೇಕ್ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಕ್ಯಾರೆಕ್ಟರ್ ಕನ್ವರ್ಟ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ಅಪ್ಪರ್ ಕೇಸ್ ನೌ ದೀಸ್ ಟೈಪ್ ಆಫ್ ಸ್ಟೈಲ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಗೋನ್ ಟು ಗೆಟ್ ಸೊ ಐ ವಾಂಟ್ ಎ ಸ್ಟ್ರಿಂಗ್ ಯಾ ದ ಔಟ್ಪುಟ್ ವೇರ್ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಕ್ಯಾರೆಕ್ಟರ್ ಶುಡ್ ಬಿ ಕನ್ವರ್ಟೆಡ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ಅಪ್ಪರ್ ಕೇಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಲೈಕ್ ಲೆಟ್ ಮೀ ಕನ್ಸಿಡರ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಎ ಲುಕ್ ಒನ್ಸ ಸರ್ ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ಗೈಡ್ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಕ್ಯಾರೆಕ್ಟರ್ ಶುಡ್ ಬಿ ಅಪ್ಪರ್ ಕೇಸ್ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಕ್ಯಾರೆಕ್ಟರ್ ಶುಡ್ ಬಿ ಅಪ್ಪರ್ ಕೇಸ್ ರೈಟ್ ದುರ್ಗಾ ವಾಟ್ ಆಮ್ ಟ್ರೈನ್ ಟು ಟೇ ಸೊ ಎಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಜೀರೋ ಟು ಜೀರೋ ಟು ಲೆಂತ್ ಆಫ್ ಎಸ್ ಲೆಂತ್ ಆಫ್ ಎಸ್ ಮೈನಸ್ ಒನ್ ಲೆಂತ್ ಆಫ್ ಎಸ್ ಮೈನಸ್ ಒನ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ಇಬ್ಬರ ಕ್ಯಾರೆಕ್ಟರ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಗೋನ್ ಟು ಗೆಟ್ ಎಕ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಕ್ಯಾರೆಕ್ಟರ್ ಎಕ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಕ್ಯಾರೆಕ್ಟರ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಎಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಮೈನಸ್ ಒನ್ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಕ್ಯಾರೆಕ್ಟರ್ ಎಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಮೈನಸ್ ಒನ್ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಕ್ಯಾರೆಕ್ಟರ್ ಕನ್ವರ್ಟ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ಅಪ್ಪರ್ ಕನ್ವರ್ಟ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ಅಪ್ಪರ್ ಪ್ರಿಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಔಟ್ಪುಟ್ ವಾಟ್ ಔಟ್ಪುಟ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಗೋನ್ ಟು ಗೆಟ್ ಸರ್ ಕೆನ್ ಯು ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ಅಪ್ ಸರ್ ಡಿ ಯು ಆರ್ ಜಿ ಫಾಲೋಡ್ ಬೈ ಎ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಗೋನ್ ಟು ಗೆಟ್ ಡಿ ಯು ಆರ್ ಜಿ ಫಾಲೋಡ್ ಬೈ ಎ ಎ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಗೆಟಿಂಗ್ ಸರ್ ಓಕೆ ವೆಲ್ ನಾವು ಐ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಒನ್ ಸ್ಮಾಲ್ ಡೌಟ್ ನೀಡ್ ನಾಟ್ ಬಿ ದುರ್ಗಾ ಸರ್ ಎಸ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಟೇಕ್ ದುರ್ಗಾ ಸಾಫ್ಟ್ವೇರ್ ಸೊಲ್ಯೂಷನ್ಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ನೋ ಇಶ್ಯೂ ಎಟ್ ಆಲ್ ಎಕ್ಸೆಪ್ಟಬಲ್ ಸೇಮ್ ಔಟ್ಪುಟ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಗೋನ್ ಟು ಗೆಟ್ ಆರ್ ನಾನ್ ಕೆನ್ ಯು ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ಅಪ್ ಜಾ ಟೋಟಲ್ ಈಸ್ ಆಸ್ ಯೂಶುವಲ್ ಬಟ್ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಕ್ಯಾರೆಕ್ಟರ್ ಶುಡ್ ಬಿ ಕನ್ವರ್ಟೆಡ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ಅಪ್ಪರ್ ಕೇಸ್ ಯಾ ಹೌ ಬ್ಯೂಟಿಫುಲ್ ದಿಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಆರ್ ಯು ಬಿಟ್ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ರೈಟ್ ಸ್ಮಾಲ್ ಸ್ಮಾಲ್ ಅಪ್ಲಿಕೇಶನ್ ವಿತ್ ಅ ಸ್ಲೈಸ್ ಆಪರೇಟರ್ ವಿತ್ ನೀಟ್ ಇಂಡೆಕ್ಸ್ ವೈ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಏಬಲ್ ಟು ಡೂ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ನೌ ಮೈ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಕ್ವೆಶನ್ ಲೆಜ್ ಆನ್ ಕೇರ್ಫುಲಿ ಸರ್ ಮೈ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ರಿಕ್ವೈರ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಅಬ್ಸರ್ವ್ ದಟ್ ಬಿ ಎ ಸರ್ ದ ಗೀವನ್ ಸಿಂಗ್ ಈಸ್ ದುರ್ಗಾ ನೌ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಕ್ಯಾರೆಕ್ಟರ್ ಕೆನ್ ಯು ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ಕನ್ವರ್ಟ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ಅಪರ್ ಕೇಸ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಜಿ ಜಿ ಓಕೆ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಕ್ಯಾರೆಕ್ಟರ್ ಕೆನ್ ಯು ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ಕನ್ವರ್ಟ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ಅಪರ್ ಕೇಸ್ ಬಾ ಅರ್ ಗೆನಿಂಗ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಕ್ಯಾರೆಕ್ಟರ್ ವಿ ರಿಕ್ವೈರ್ ಟು ಕನ್ವರ್ಟ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ಅಪರ್ ಕೇಸ್ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಕ್ಯಾರೆಕ್ಟರ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಕನ್ವರ್ಟ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ಅಪರ್ ಕೇಸ್ ಬಟ್ ಇದ ವೇ ಸರ್ ವೆರಿ ಸಿಂಪಲ್ ಔಟ್ಪುಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಔಟ್ಪುಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ರೀಡ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಕ್ಯಾರೆಕ್ಟರ್ ಕನ್ವರ್ಟ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ಅಪರ್ ಕೇಸ್ ಎಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಜೀರೋ ಡಾಟ್ ಅಪ್ಪರ್ ಓಕೆ ರೀಡ್
plus last character sir s of minus 1 dot upper that's it wow beautiful sir abja sir this is if you if you can able to understand this uh, syntax nothing will be there sir okay read first character and converting into upper read the last character converting into upper in the middle the remaining characters can you please take as it is okay like now observe let me consider so first character is in upper case last character is in upper case okay well suppose need not be durga sir it may be durga soft it may be durga durga soft now have a look once so first character first character upper case last character last character upper case right sir need not be durga soft software durga software now observe first one upper case last one upper case e upper case next d upper case right not this solutions also i'm taking so d upper case s upper case d upper case s upper case d itself is upper case s itself is upper case right okay that's all this is what uh, you people should aware how you can use slice operator how you can use index uh, maybe you may have such type of things uh, but in string concept almost around 20 applications we are going to discuss there we will have clear clarity about uh, this api methods right don't worry at all clear for all of you right up to this Sir, up to this, it's very clear how you can use slice operator. Small, small applications how you can develop by using slice operator, negative index, positive index, right? Sir, now related to string, there are two important points I want to discuss with respect to mathematical operations, right? Observe that, of course, we use it already. Plus operator for the string. Observe very carefully, sir. Plus operator for the string. Suppose if I am taking Durga, Durga plus a soft, Durga plus a soft, if I print a yes, what is the answer we are going to get? Ah, what is the answer we are going to get? Can you please confirm? Very simple, Durga soft is the answer we are going to get, Durga soft like. Now the point here is, observe very carefully, plus operator applicable, sir, for the strings, then simply it acts as concatenation concatenation right okay well now especially the people who are coming from java background you can answer very easily about this one yes is equal to durga durga plus a 10 i'm taking if i can take print of yes ah what the answer respond man the people who are coming from java background you can easily answer this one what the answer we are going to get ah, durga durga 10 are you getting what the answer we are going to get durga 10 because sir if you want to apply plus operator for the string at least one argument is the string type the other can be anything anything it's a it simply acts as concatenation right but this rule is applicable only for Java, but not for Python. Remember that. In Python, if you want to apply plus operator for the string, compulsory, both the arguments should be string type, sir. Regarding compulsory, both arguments should be string type. Remember this. That's why, do you know? So, here, one is string, but the other one is not string. Not string. Immediately, we are going to get type error are you getting what is the error we are going to get sir type error if you want to apply plus operator between two string values compulsory both arguments should be string type one is string the other one is non-string immediately we will get error clear right let me show this one here observe a bit very very carefully about this one sir sir i'm taking i'm taking just uh, here forget about all this nonsense S is equal to Durga plus soft. Durga plus a soft. Sir, print of yes. Print of yes. For a fact. Okay, Durga soft we are getting, sir. Now, S is equal to Durga plus a 10. Plus a 10. Immediately, we will get error. Immediately, we will get error. 
type error must be str but not int type error must be str but not int remember this so it's very clear first conclusion sir so plus operator applicable for the string or not what is the answer respond plus operator applicable for the string or not yes applicable for the string next uh, sir if you want to apply plus operator for the string what is the rule the rule is both the arguments must be string type remember one is a string the other one is a non string immediately error we are going to get okay well next uh, about the star operator also there is one very important sir so this is speciality is not there for the remaining languages right star star operator star operator operator multiplication operator right now i'm taking s is equal to durga durga into 3 <laughs> durga into 3 can you please tell what the answer you are going to get hmm respond what answer s is equal to durga into 3 what answer you are going to get now hmm are your answer may be correct or not don't worry you can tell i will explain anyway you can cross check compulsory everyone should have some answer in your mind durga into 3 what the answer you are going to get sir i am feeling it is error because multiplication for the string how you can apply sir okay like in python this one perfectly acceptable no problem at all in python perfectly this one is acceptable the reason for that is so this is called string repetition operator sir durga can you please consider durga three times sir. if i print yes if i print yes yes what the answer durga 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 <laughs> like we are going to get are you getting durga 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 like we are going to get sir so this is called string repetition operator so multiplication operator star operator is it applicable for the string or not yes friends it is applicable for the string okay it is considered as string repetition operator let me cross check sir have a look once i'm taking s is equal to durga into 3 i'm taking print of s s is equal to durga into 3 print of s what is the answer we are going to get sir okay durga 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 like a three times right okay this is a string repetition operator okay like now i have one small doubt think a bit very carefully and then tell answer i'm taking s is equal to s is equal to 3 into durga s is equal to 3 into durga is it valid or not you respond 3 into durga is it valid or not okay take very special care about this one so sir durga into 3 is valid but what about 3 into durga okay no issue at all multiplication operator we can apply for the string if you are applying for the string compulsory one argument should be string type the other one should be int type only int type only this order first you are taking string under than int or first int under than string no problem at all in any order you can take but make sure whenever we are using star one argument should be string type the other argument should be int type okay acceptable right so print of yes print of yes now same durga 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 like three times you are going to get no problem right okay let me cross check sir here i'm taking so here instead of let me take sir three into durga like this i'm taking sir three into durga three into durga for a fact acceptable durga 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 like you people may feel sorry showing old output only second time like hey let me change something okay five times i'm taking sir five five durga like this right for a fact acceptable durga 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 five times it's going to come sir clear for all of you right next sir can i take like this can you please tell is it acceptable or not okay i want to take like yes is equal to durga durga into soft 
దుర్గా ఇంటు సాఫ్ట్ ఇమ్మడి గెట్లే ఎర్రర్ వియర్ గోన్ టు గెట్ బికాస్ ద రీజన్ ఈస్ టైప్ ఎర్ర బికాస్ ద రీజన్ ఈస్ వెన్ ఎవర్ వియర్ అప్లై స్టార్ ఆపరేటర్ ఫర్ ద స్ట్రింగ్ కంపల్సరీ వన్ ఆర్గ్యుమెంట్ షుడ్ బి స్ట్రింగ్ ద అదర్ ఆర్గ్యుమెంట్ షుడ్ బి ఇంట టైప్ బట్ యు ఆర్ టేకింగ్ ఎగైన్ స్ట్రింగ్ ఎగైన్ స్ట్రింగ్ దట్స్ వై వీ ఆర్ గోన్ టు గెట్ కాంట మల్టిప్లై స్ట్రింగ్ విత్ నాన్ స్ట్రింగ్ లైక్ యు ఆర్ గోన్ టు గెట్ సార్ హ్యావ్ ఎ లిప్ వన్స్ హియర్ దుర్గా హియర్ ఆమ్ టేకింగ్ సో ఎస్ ఈజ్ ఈక్వల్ టు దుర్గా దుర్గా ఇంటు ఇంటు సాఫ్ట్ ఆమ్ టేకింగ్ దుర్గా ఇంటు సాఫ్ట్ ఆమ్ టేకింగ్ సార్ నవాబ్జా సార్ టైప్ ఎర్ర టైప్ ఎర్ర కాంట మల్టిప్లై సీక్వెన్స్ బై నాన్ ఇంటర్ టైప్ ఆఫ్ ఎస్టిఆర్ కాంట మల్టిప్లై సీక్వెన్స్ బై నాన్ ఇంటర్ టైప్ ఆఫ్ ఎస్టిఆర్ లైక్ దిస్ వీ ఆర్ గోన్ టు గెట్ ఓకే ఎవ్రీ వన్ ఇన్ ద పొజిషన్ టు అండర్స్టాండ్ క్లియర్లీ రైట్ ఓకే వెల్ సో ఈజ్ ఇట్ అప్లికబుల్ స్టార్ ఆపరేటర్ అప్లికబుల్ ఫర్ ద స్ట్రింగ్ ఆర్ నాట్ ఎస్ ఇఫ్ యు ఆర్ అప్లైంగ్ స్టార్ ఆపరేటర్ ఫర్ ద స్ట్రింగ్ వన్ ఆర్గ్యుమెంట్ షుడ్ బి స్ట్రింగ్ టైప్ ద అదర్ ఆర్గ్యుమెంట్ షుడ్ బి ఇంట టైప్ ఇన్ ఎనీ ఆర్డర్ యూ కెన్ ఎక్స్ స్ట్రింగ్ ఇంట్ ఇంట స్ట్రింగ్ యాక్సెప్టబుల్ నో ఇష్యూ ఎట్ ఆల్ రైట్ ఓకే వెల్ సార్ నౌ సమ్ టైమ్స్ ఐ మే రైట్ లైక్ దిస్ వేర్ ఎగ్జాక్ట్లీ దీస్ టైప్ ఆఫ్ రిక్వైర్మెంట్స్ ఆర్ దేర్ ఫర్ బ్యూటిఫుల్ ప్రింటింగ్ సేక్ ఐ కెన్ యూస్ ప్రింట్ ప్రింట్ ఓకే యాష సింబల్ ప్రింట్ యాష సింబల్ ఓకే థర్టీ టైమ్స్ ఆర్ ఆర్ టెన్ టైమ్స్ అబ్జర్వ్ ప్రింట్ యాష సింబల్ టెన్ టైమ్స్ ఓకే నెక్స్ట్ ప్రింట్ ఆఫ్ ప్రింట్ ఆఫ్ దుర్గా సాఫ్ట్ ప్రింట్ ఆఫ్ దుర్గా సాఫ్ట్ దుర్గా సాఫ్ట్ నెక్స్ట్ ప్రింట్ ఎగైన్ యాష సింబల్ యాష సింబల్ టెన్ టైమ్స్ ప్రింట్ యాష సింబల్ టెన్ టైమ్స్ అది గెటింగ్ రైట్ నౌ యాష్ 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 లైక్ టెన్ టైమ్స్ అండ్ దెన్ దుర్గా సాఫ్ట్ ఇన్ ద నెక్స్ట్ లైన్ అండ్ దెన్ యాష్ 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 లైక్ టెన్ టైమ్స్ నౌ అబ్జర్వ్ ద అవుట్పుట్ వాట్ యు ఆర్ గోన్ టు గెట్ ఇఫ్ ఐ ప్రింట్ మోర్ మీనింగ్ఫుల్ ప్రింట్ స్టేట్మెంట్స్ రైట్ ఓకే హియర్ ప్రింట్ ఆఫ్ యాష్ సింబల్ ఓకే టెన్ టైమ్స్ యాష్ సింబల్ టెన్ టైమ్స్ లైక్ ఇన్ ద మిడిల్ ఐఎమ్ టేకింగ్ ప్రింట్ ఆఫ్ ప్రింట్ ప్రింట్ ఆఫ్ దుర్గా సాఫ్ట్ ఓకే లైక్ ఐమ్ టేకింగ్ సార్ అబ్జర్వ్ ద అవుట్పుట్ అబ్జర్వ్ అబ్జర్వ్ ద అవుట్పుట్ హౌ బ్యూటిఫుల్ ఇట్ ఈస్ ఆర్ గెటింగ్ సో దిస్ ఈజ్ ఆర్ గె ఐ హోప్ యూ పీపుల్ కెన్ కెన్ సి వేర్ యూ కెన్ యూస్ స్టార్ ఐ మీన్ స్టార్ ఆపరేటర్ ఫర్ ద స్ట్రింగ్ కాన్సెప్ట్ క్లియర్ ఫర్ అల్ ఆఫ్ రై దీస్ ఆర్ వేరియస్ ఇంపార్టెంట్ థింగ్స్ వాట్ యూ షుడ్ అవేర్ బట్ ఇట్ ఇస్ ద బేసిక్ ఐడియా అబౌట్ ద స్ట్రింగ్ కాన్సెప్ట్ దేర్ ఈస్ అ సపరేట్ టాపిక్ వీఆర్ గోన్ టు డిస్కస్ స్ట్రింగ్ ఆల్మోస్ట్ అరౌండ్ త్రీ టు ఫోర్ అవర్స్ దేర్ వీ ఆర్ గోన్ టు డిస్కస్ ఇన్ డీటెయిల్ డోంట్ వరీ సార్ దిస్ ఈజ్ అబౌట్ స్ట్రింగ్ డేటా టైప్ సార్ అప్ టు దీస్ we covered five data types inter type float type complex type bool type str type five data types we covered these are five data types are considered as yes, fundamental data types of python remember this one sir these are fundamental data types of python next long data type available only in python 2 but not in python 3 okay long is applicable in the old version but not in the python 3 version right next the char data type sir in other languages like c c++ java char data type separate data type is there but in python there is no char data type even char values also we can represent by using string type only remember these important conclusions right have a look once just i documented these conclusions also observe that so important conclusions the following data types are considered as yes, fundamental data types of python in float complex bool str next uh, long data type available only in python 2 but not in python 3 sir sir by the so long values also you can represent by using int type only in python 3 remember right next uh, there is no char data type in python char char data, data type is not available in python char values also we can represent by using what str type only that's all this is the discussion about fundamental data types present inside python clear for all of you right hi friends in the last videos we covered the fundamental data types of python intertype 
next float type complex bool and str type we covered right so now i will explain how to convert one type value to another type regarding suppose i have int value is there i want to convert it to float type or float value is there i want to convert to complex type so the process of converting one type to another type we have to discuss this process is nothing but what type casting are you getting just observe that what is our next topic name type casting sir casting means conversion conversion converting the type type casting okay the process of converting one type of value to another type is called type casting or type coercion observe very carefully sir what is the other words are type coercion like this right so how you can perform type casting what functions are there okay python provide five inbuilt functions are there sir by using these five inbuilt functions happily we can convert from one type to another type sir which are those what are those inbuilt functions right sir first one int function are getting what is the first one int int function second one sir float function third one complex function third complex function next uh, bool function are getting bool bool function next uh, sir str function are getting these are the five type casting functions what we can use okay to convert one type value to another type now we have to perform post mortem about all these functions right okay multiple examples we require to discuss internal loopholes we have to be aware so that you people can get much clarity right okay so can i start the cinema is it clear for all of you so total how many type casting functions are there we can perform type casting in python by using which function functions int function float function complex function bool function and then str function right sir now the first thing what we have int function sir have you observed the first one int int function can you spell out what is the purpose of int int function sir to convert from other types to int type okay to convert to convert from from other types to convert from other types to int types are we require to use int function suppose i have float value is there how i can convert float value to int type i have boolean value is there how i can convert boolean to float type like to convert from other types to int type then we require to go for what int function clear right sir now how you can use this one okay the first thing what i have to discuss right float to int conversion i have float value is there i have float value is there i want to convert float value to int what is the option sir very very simple sir int of you can pass any float value no problem sir sir now i have 10.989 is there this is the float value sir i want to convert this float value to int type what will happen is yes. so how this int function is going to be here yes what is the output we are going to get sir very simple 10 we are going to get whenever we are trying to convert float value to int type by using int type casting function the digits after the decimal point will be gone are you getting the digits after the decimal point will be gone then obviously what is the output we are going to get just a simply 10 now can you please tell float to int conversion is it possible or not yes possible how you can convert sir whenever we are trying to convert float to int the digits after the decimal point by default will be gone remember that sir so it may be positive or negative the rule is always the same have a look once what i want to take here is observe carefully sir int of here int of int of 10.990 or 9908 something like i am taking sir just uh, i am passing i am passing float value have you observed that? this is the float value to the int function now what is the equivalent int value we are going to get just the only 10 sir 10 that's all so float to two int type float to two int type conversion is possible what is the rule the digits after the decimal point by default will be gone okay well sir next uh, next the uh, possibility sir complex i have complex is there sir complex value is there is it possible to convert 
complexer to integer type sir i want to convert complex number to integer type so please make sure what what we are going to get int of 10 plus 20 j okay well sir can you please tell what i am passing <laughs> this one what i am passing 10 plus 20 j int of 10 plus 20 j i am passing can you please tell what what we are going to get Uh, you respond what what the what the result we are going to get what the output we are going to get in this case okay very simple the output is ah <laughs> can i get 10 or can i get 20 or can i get 10 and 20 okay very very simple you are always expecting what int value int value right what the output we are going to get sir a big a big type error we are going to get <laughs> remember this one a big type error we are going to get so complex number cannot be converted to integer type remember this one sir complex number cannot be converted to integer type by mistake if you are trying to convert complex number to integer type immediately error we are going to get okay have a look once sir i am taking int of int of 10 plus 20 j are getting int of 10 plus 20 j what the answer we are getting sir type error sir this one is a very important type error can't convert complex to int type error can't convert complex to int like this say yes, sir type error we are going to get sir okay well this is what you people should aware okay well sir now okay float to int how to convert we are saying complex to int sorry sir not possible next uh, bool to yes observe that boolean value bool to bool to boolean value to int type sir yes happily you can do that have you remember somewhere we cover true true means uh, internally treated as 1 false means uh, internally treated as 0 sir now have you observed bool of bool of true bool of true true sir so here just to take a bit very special care i don't want to convert to bool so int of true sir int of true i'm taking what is the answer hmm. can you please convert boolean value true to int type very simple sir one we are going to get convert sir boolean value false to int type sir zero we are going to get so bool to int type conversion is possible or not yes perfectly itself is acceptable no problem at all okay let me show this up approach right have a look once int of int of true i'm taking sir int of true i'm taking then its value is treated as 1 one similarly int a uh, false i'm taking sir its value is internally treated as zero sir i hope everyone can able to understand right so how to convert boolean value to int type is that clear sir now the last conversion sir okay i know string value is there i want to convert string to int type are you getting i want to convert string value to int type what is the option sir yes is it possible to convert yes friend happily we can do that but there is a rule is there let me talk about that rule clearly right compulsory string value internally contains integral value remember this compulsory string internally contains integral value and should be specified only in base 10 sir binary form octal form hexadecimal forms are not allowed so string internally contains string internally string internally contains string internally contains only integral value only integral value that uh, should be specified uh, in base 10 only decimal form only like this right okay well sir int of int a uh, sir 15 i am taking 100% pakka valid even it is a string uh, internally it contain what uh, internally it contain what uh, sir integral value sir which is in base 10 only now what is the value sir 15 is the answer suppose if i can take int of int of 0 b 0 b 
वन लाइक दिस आम टेकिंग इम्मी गेट वी आर गोन टू गेट एर सर वैल्यू एर लाइक वी आर गोन टू गेट सम एर इफ यू इफ यू आर ट्रई टू कन्वर्ट स्ट्रिंग टू इंट टाइम कंपलसरी स्ट्रिंग शुड कंटे इंटग्रल वैल्यू अंड शुड बी स्पेसीफाइड ओन इन द बेस टेन बट यू आर नाट स्पेसीफाइंग इन बेस टेन यू आर यूजिंग बैनरी फॉर्म दट इमी एट एर वी आर गोन टू गेट सर वैल्यू एर लाइक सर नौ इंट आफ इंट आफ टेन पॉइंट फाइव आम टेकिंग इन स्ट्रिंग फॉर्म रिगार्डिंग इंट टेन पॉइंट फाइव आम टेकिंग इन स्ट्रिंग फॉर्म Can you please tell 10.5? It is not integral value. It is a float value, sir. Sorry, this conversion fails, sir. It is also we are going to get error, sir. Okay. So is it possible to convert string to int type or not? Yes, possible. But string should contain only integral value, and it should be in the base of 10. Okay. Let me show this conversion also. Have a look once. If I am taking, sir, int of okay within. Here fifteen, I'm taking sir. Yes, valid, valid, no problem at all. Now fifteen is the answer. Int a, ah, int a, ah, zero b one 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 like this. I'm taking sir. So you can pass a string should be integral value. Should be integral value, and you have to specify in base ten. But here it is the integral value. But you are specifying in the binary form. That's why immediately error value error invalid literal for int with the base ten. Invalid literal for int with the base ten. Like this, we are going to get the error, sir. I hope everyone in the position to understand clearly, right? Okay, well, sir. Now I'm taking int of int int of Sir, just a 10.5. Inta 10.5. So you are trying to convert string to int, string to int, but the string is not containing integral value. It contains floating point value. Now observe that. What will happen? Value error. Error invalid literal for int with the base of 10, 10.5. That's all. This is what you people should aware about the int int functions, right? Clear for all of you, right? So how to convert other types to int type? What are various possibilities are there, sir? Int is the int is the type casting function. We have to use float to int. Possible conversion is possible or not? Yes. But whenever we are trying to convert float to int, the digits after the decimal point will be gone. Next, the complex number to int type conversion is not possible. Next, ah, uh, whenever you are trying to convert boolean to int type, if if the boolean value is the true, now int value is one. If it is the false, now int value is the zero. Next, the string to int type is it possible to convert or not? Yes, possible. But compulsory string should contain only integral value, and we should use base ten only. That's all, sir. These are various important rules related to int function to convert other types to int type. Any doubt about this? Clear, right? Sir, up to this we covered how to convert other types to int type, int type casting function. Sir, now I have to explain. I want to convert other types to float type. Regarding, I want to convert other types to float type. How you can use a type casting function? Okay, sir, float. This is the type casting function we require to use. So, from int type, from int type. For complex type, int type value, complex type value, bool type value, str type value, how you can convert into float type? For this, we require to go for this float function, sir. Okay, to convert other types to float, we have to go for what? Float, float function, sir. What is the behavior, right? Now observe very carefully. I want to convert into two floats, sir. I want to convert. Into two float, okay. No restrictions. You can provide any int value in any base. No problem. Happily, the corresponding float value we are going to get. Now observe this one, sir. Float of float of sir fifteen. I am taking. Now what will happen is whenever you are trying to convert fifteen int value to the float, this output will become fifteen point zero. Remember, sir. If I can take float of 
zero b zero b one 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 okay now also fifteen point zero you are going to get because binary one 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 means fifteen only now what is the output you are going to get fifteen point zero no restrictions happily you can convert into to float type right okay just observe this one sir sir I'm trying to take int sir here float of float of fifteen what is the answer please confirm what is the answer float of 15 15.0 sir now float of sir 0b 1111 like this i am taking yes 15.0 sir float of 0x face it is the integral value sir so 64206.0 64206.0 like this we are going to get okay sir so that's all this is the way how to convert int value to float type clear sir similarly i want to convert i want to convert complex to float type are you getting i have to convert complex to float float type sir sir very simple in the last that we covered int value sir i want to convert complex to int sorry sir not possible same way if you want to convert complex to float sorry not possible sir if you have complex value converting that complex value to the int type converting that complex value to the float type sorry not possible immediately we are going to get type error okay remember now float of 10 plus 20 j i am taking <coughs> what i am trying to pass 10 plus 20 j i am taking sir what is this value it is a complex number complex number we are trying to convert into the float immediately we are going to get type error what is that error sir can you spell out type error so we can't convert complex number to flow type of course to the int type also okay just i have a look once i'm trying to take just the float of here just observe that sir float float of float of 10 plus 20 j 10 plus 20 j we are trying to convert complex number to float type sir if you are trying to convert complex number to float type what is that error you are getting type error can't convert complex to float everyone everyone in the position to understand right we can't we can't convert complex number to float type sir okay well now sir third one boolean to bool to float type is it possible or not yes why not why not happily you can do that okay true internally treated as 1 false internally treated as 0 now 1 and 0 will come sir now float of float of true sir if you are trying to convert true to the float type its value will become 1.0 because we are trying to convert into the float 1.0 sir float of if i can take false if i can take false what answer we are going to get sir uh, 0.0 like this so is it possible to convert float boolean to float or not boolean to float or not yes possible man 1.0 0.0 this is the way sir let me cross check here have a look once sir i am taking here float of true i am trying to take what the answer sir float of true true i am trying to take what answer 1.0 sir similarly float a uh, float a uh, false i am trying to take sir what output you are going to get 0.0 so float of true float of false not required to give any explanation this sir next the uh, fourth one sir what is the what is the fourth one so str type to str type to float type string to float type sir very simple possible possible sir string to float possible but only one rule is there what is that rule is internally string should contain either integral value or float value but should be specified only in base 10 okay remember this so internally string should contain internally string should contain either int value either int value or float value or float value either int value or float value but should be specified only in base 10 that's what you should aware sir okay well very simple now let me cross check float of okay 10 i am taking 
float up then i'm taking so it is a string but internally contains what string only internally contains int value only now what is the output we are going to get 10.0 perfect sir acceptable float up float up here 20.6 like this i'm taking yes internally it contain float value no problem this conversion is possible sir 20.6 okay now float of okay 0x face i'm taking immediately value error you are going to get 0x face hey, internally it should be int value and we should specify only in base 10 sir it is int value only but uh, you use an exact is one that's why sorry it is not possible next up float of float of durga i'm taking float of durga i'm taking again sir error we are going to get maybe value error okay like again error we are going to get so that's what by seeing this one you people can aware whenever we are trying to convert okay string to float type string can contain int value or float value but we have to specify only in what base 10 remember let me cross check sir here very very simple i'm taking sir float of float of 10.0 sir float of 20.6 i'm taking sir 20.6 20.6 next up float of 10 20.6 next uh, sir here 0 0 x face hexadecimal int value i'm providing immediately error we are going to get have you observed right value error could not convert string to float sorry sir string to float conversion is not possible for the in this case similarly float of durga i'm taking meaningless here value error could not convert could not convert a string to float if the string is durga you can't convert into the float value that's all sir this is what you people should aware clearly right any doubt about this one so what is the purpose of float function to convert other types to float we require to go for float function next uh, into to float whenever you are trying to convert no restrictions you can provide int value even in decimal form binary form octal form hexadecimal form just a point zero will be added in the float that's all sir next the complex to float sorry not possible you can't convert complex number to either int complex number to float such type of conversions are not allowed next the bool to float possible sir if you are trying to convert a true to float 1.0 false means 0, 0.0 sir string to float sir should contain the string should contain either int value or float value and should be specified only in the base 10 that's all this is the way how to convert from other types to float type how to use a float type casting function clear right sir up to this it is very clear how to convert from other types to inter type how to convert from other types to float type now my requirement is i want to convert uh, from other types to complex type are you getting suppose i have int value is there okay i have float value is there or bool value is there str value is there sir all these values how to convert into complex type are you getting this a type casting function we have to discuss for that we require to go for what complex so what is the purpose of complex type casting function to convert from other types to complex type for that purpose we can use complex right but anyway complex number what is the syntax for complex number can you please spell out sir a plus b j a plus b j this a is called what a real part under this b is called what imaginary part are you getting this a is called real part b is called imaginary part okay well sir now how you can convert from other types to complex there are two forms of complex function is there sometimes you may pass only real value and sometimes you may pass real value and sir imaginary value also what it means now observe that first form form one sir first form complex of of x only one argument i'm passing 
complex of x only one argument i am passing if you pass only one argument this argument will become this argument will become a real value sir which is the real value yes this one is the real value right sir similarly there is another complex function is there i mean two argument complex function form two complex of x comma y so if you are passing sir complex of x comma y two arguments right now the first argument will become real value and the second argument will become imaginary value remember this one sir so how to convert how to convert from other types to complex time sir first argument one argument function let me explain here see this one complex of 10 i am taking complex of 10 int value i am passing sir now do you know what will happen 10 plus 0 j okay whatever argument you are passing this argument will become this argument will become okay this is called real part and the imaginary part is always zero similarly complex of okay zero b one 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 it is the int value int value sir what about this int value can you please spell out zero b one 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 fifteen plus zero j okay like so int value to complex number conversion is always possible this int value will become real part okay let me execute this code sir have a look once here i'm taking complex <coughs> complex of 10 sir what is the answer 10 plus 0 j remember sir similarly complex of complex of okay 0 b 1 1 1 1 like this i'm taking sir what about its value 15 plus 0 j 15 plus 0 j like this we are going to get any doubt about this one sir so clear so into two complex number one argument how you are going to convert similarly sir let me go for complex of complex of okay 10.5 i'm taking sir which value i'm passing float value float to complex yes no problem 10.5 plus 0 j 10.5 plus 0 j similarly complex of complex of true true i'm passing sir complex of true if you pass a true true means what one one have you remembered one plus 0 j sir complex of complex of false if i can take complex of false false if i can take what about its value sir do you know zero plus zero j it is always going to print zero j like this right of course imaginary part is the zero then it's not required to display just zero j that's all only second half is going to be printed let me show these things right here observe carefully right sir i want to convert float value to complex float value float value to complex right 10.5 complex of 10.5 sir have you observed 10.5 plus 0 j next uh, complex of true i'm taking sir complex of true what about its value sir 1 plus 1 plus 0 j because true means 1 similarly complex of complex of false i'm taking sir 0 plus 0 j its value will be printed as 0 sir okay well next uh, sir i want to convert string to complex okay i want to convert string string to complex right sir complex of okay string sir please make sure this string should contain either int value or float value and should be used only in the base 10 whatever rule we cover for the float float the function same rule sir if you are going to pass a string value compulsory that string value should contain either int value or float value and we have to use only base 10 remember now i'm taking sir 10 in the form of string okay 10 10 in the form of string sir now 10 plus 0 j okay complex r complex r okay 10.5 in the string form 10.5 plus 0 j we are going to get so just uh, observe let me cross check these two things also have a look once sir sir i'm taking complex of complex of then i'm taking what is the answer 10 plus 0 j perfect sir complex of complex of 10 
पॉइंट फाइव आम टेकिंग सर वरदान सर टेन पॉइंट फाइव प्लस जीरो जे सर कॉम्प्लेक्स हाँ हियर अभी अब जो जीरो बी वन 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 लाइक दिस आम टेकिंग सर अभी ये रिमेम्बर्ड इफ यू आर स्पेस पाइंट द स्ट्रिंग कंपलसरी शुड कंटेन इधर इंटी वैल्यू और फ्लोट वैल्यू अंदर दैट वैल्यू शुड बी स्पेसिफाइड बोनी इन द बेस टेन बट यू आर यूजिंग बाइनरी बट यू आर यूजिंग बाइनरी व्हाट विल हैपन सर वैल्यू एरर वैल्यू एरर कंप्लेक्स आर इज अ माल फॉर्मेड स्ट्रिंग माल फॉर्मेड मींस व्हाट सो नॉट प्रॉपर्ली फॉर्मेटेड स्ट्रिंग इज नॉट प्रॉपर्ली फॉर्मेटेड माल फॉर्मेड स्ट्रिंग लाइक दिस वी आर गोइंग टू गेट ओके सो दिस इज व्हाट व्हाट यू पीपल शुड बी अवेयर इफ यू पास ओनली वन आर्गुमेंट that argument will become only real part and the imaginary part will become zero so from other types to complex type how to convert only with real value this is sir now what is about uh, sir form 2 i want to pass real value and the imaginary value both them. yes possible yes first argument second argument right now complex of complex of 10 comma 20 Are getting complex of 10 comma 20. 10 will become real value. 20 will become imaginary value. Now observe that 10 plus 20 j. This is the answer we are going to get. Similarly, complex of 10.5 comma 20.6. I am taking 10.5 comma 20.6. Now 10.5. Plus twenty point six J we are going to get. Everyone can able to understand, right? If you are passing two arguments, if you are passing two arguments means uh, what will happen for complex number? Now have a look once, uh, sir. Here I am trying to take complex of ten comma twenty. Can you please have a look once? What is the answer we are going to get? Ten plus twenty J. Okay, like uh, sir. Similarly, complex of ten point five. Comma twenty point six. I am taking sir. Ten point five. Comma twenty point six. I am trying to take. What will happen? Ten point five plus twenty point six j. This is the value we are going to get, sir. Perfectly valid. Any doubt, friends? Are you in the position to understand clearly, right? Okay, well, sir. Now I have one small doubt. Observe carefully. Observe carefully. Of course, complex numbers. We are not going to use that much frequently. Even you don't know about these rules, don't worry, sir. Optional, but having idea is always good programming practice. Remember, complex of complex of. Here I'm taking, here I'm taking ten, ten, okay, comma ten, comma twenty. I'm taking ten, comma twenty. I'm taking. Can you please tell? Is it valid or not? Are you string, string? Both the strings are passing, sir. Is it valid or not? Okay. Take very, very special care. What that point is? So whenever the first argument is the string, whenever the first argument is the string, second argument string you are not allowed to pass. Of course, internal restrictions are there, sir. Ten, twenty, immediately error we are going to get, sir. Okay. Similarly, so what is the rule is? If you want to pass, if you want to pass, you know string value in the real part, real part string value. Then second argument, second argument, sir, you can't, you can't pass. Second argument, okay, you can't pass. It should, it should not be string like. Let me show what error we are going to get, sir. Sir, what is that uh, error? What error we are going to get is if I can take, if I can take a ten comma. So compulsory. Yes, observe a bit very, very carefully about this one, sir. Have a look once. Complex of ten comma twenty. I'm taking, sir. Complex of ten comma twenty. Observe what it is telling. Type error. Complex can't take second argument if the first is a string. Are you getting? Can't take second argument if the first is a string, sir. So if the first argument is the string, then you can't pass a second argument. What error we are getting, sir? Type error we are getting. Okay. Now, okay. I'm taking like this. <laughs> I'm taking like this. Sir, ten comma ten comma twenty. I'm taking sir. Ten comma twenty. Sir, rule one. If the first argument is the string, if the first argument is the string, then the second argument you can't pass. Okay, that's why. Okay. Now the first argument is not string. First argument is not string. Can you please tell? Is it acceptable or not? 
no no second argument should not be string for the complex function second argument should not be string for the complex function remember that sir have a look once i'm trying to take i'm trying to take complex of 10 comma 20 i'm taking sir sir first argument first argument number okay number okay but second argument i'm taking string sir what will happen type error complex second argument can't be a string complex second argument can't be a string that's what what you should aware okay but anyway all these internal things don't worry about that sir general idea you should aware if you pass one argument that argument will become real number real part and imaginary part is always a zero remember if you are passing two arguments first argument will become what the first argument will become real part second argument will become imaginary part okay this is the way how to convert from other types to complex type clear for all of you right with multiple examples now i hope you are getting some idea okay well Sir, up to this, it is very clear how to use int function, next float function and a complex function. Now, how to use bool function, just aware. Sir, I have one int value is there, sir. Or I have float value is there. Or we have, okay, string value is there. Or complex number is there, sir. All these things, I want to convert into boolean type. Regarding, I want to convert into boolean type. For that purpose, we have to use bool function. Okay, to convert, sir, the given number to boolean type. For that, we should go for bool, bool function, right? Sir, now, how you can use this bool function? Sir, the int type, float type, complex type, next string type, what rules are there, sir? Take very special care about this one. Sir, bool int argument int int argument sir if i pass int argument bool of sir 10 i'm taking can you please tell what the answer very simple very simple sir if the argument is a zero remember if the argument value is a zero zero then false non-zero means a true sir okay please make sure whether it is the int type float type complex type everywhere this rule is always same sir if the argument is a zero then it's always treated as a false otherwise it is treated as the sir true sir now bool of 10 10 is not zero that's why what value we are going to get sir true next bool of bool of sir here just i'm taking zero sir oh zero man zero zero argument zero argument means what false we are going to get remember this one false so non zero means true zero means false let me look once